Welcome everyone to another stream of Persona 4 Golden. I am Cyanesis, also known as Plant, and we are in between Naoto's dungeon and Naoto feeling better. So we're gonna definitely um, try uh, to get through a lot of this. But we got we got through a big chunk of story and just time um, yesterday or last stream. So that's actually I think that's up on YouTube now. Supposedly, um, I don't even think it's done processing. Six hours of footage, around six hours of footage is a lot. So maybe we won't do um, an individual video as six hours. I should probably break that up a little bit more. Oh, morning, Jeff. <laughs> How are you? Uh, five days? No. Okay. Uh, I think we were gonna read? Monday evening. We need our understanding to be higher. Let's see, where are we at? Where are we at? Expression is maxed. <laughs> Knowledge. Tonight you're going to pick up your son today? Ooh. That would be fun. I feel like our knowledge is almost there. We'll get that from school. So we're gonna we're gonna get our understanding up. He decided to make cranes. He carefully and precisely folded cranes for a person you have never met. Their setting has increased. Forgot. Take a deep breath and recall. Continue next time. How many cranes do I have to, do I have to make? A thousand cranes. All right, great baton work. It's the most important part of a relay. Keep practicing. It doesn't matter how fast you run. If you drop the baton, you'll lose valuable time. Just keep passing that baton until you reach the anchor. Fundamental, but difficult. By the way, the word anchor was originally used in a different track and field sport. Mm, how about a question for my dude? Which of these sports also used as an anchor? Bro, I am not a sports person. Um, yeah, take a deep breath, deep breath, deep breath, deep breath. I don't think swimming uses an anchor. It'd be funny. <laughs> it should be tug of war. Uh, wrestling, at uh, wrestling uses chairs. <laughs> uh, shot put. I don't see how that, they would use an anchor there. You got it. The player supporting the end of the rope was acting as the anchor and was thus called so. Uh, at the end of the rope? I guess because they can like just like dig in and just keep pulling. If, that, if that's the the reason. They crossed over into other sports, and so the last run in relay is also called that. Alright, one more time with your boy as the anchor. Ready, go. Ah, oh, I see, I see. We just started. Good. Also, my dude, your boy, runs so slow in the classroom, that the moment he gets into the hall, he fucking sprints. Like, what the fuck? It's raining on a Tuesday. We need to go find the dog, but it's raining. Fuck. He has manners in class. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Check our, uh... Nothing, huh? No one wants to hang out today? Fucking late. Well, probably because it's just going to be raining until it fogs, huh? Let's see. Uh, Adachi is maybe at Junius? We'll see. Uh, unlikely. Melon. Yes, give me the melon. 
Run into town. Um. Let me, let me see what's going on at the beach. I can get courage. <laughs> uh, what does gazing out to sea do? Just, do I just look and... Do I gain understanding? Let's fucking swim. Yes. Yes. Oh, I see. Courage has increased. Understanding has increased. Should have probably gone to Aya. Aya. Oh, welcome home, big bro. Thanks, Nanako. Oh, learns a new skill. Not quite respect. Uh. No, 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 no. Do we know what we want to do? To make cranes. I feel like our evenings are very, um, boring now. You know? Like, we, we always hung out with Nanako or we hung out with Dojima. So I guess that just opens up all those times. Midterms are starting on Friday next week. Fuck. Are you guys studying hard or hardly studying? We don't study. Well, let's get back to basics then. Let's look at the world map. Take note that Japan is in the center of the Japanese maps. Other countries center their maps in different places. Where would you find Japan on a map in a foreign country? Let's see. Amagi-san. No, I'd feel bad about that. So, Hanamura. What? Why would he feel bad for asking Yukiko, but not me? Because he's a fucking pervert, dude. I don't even know what he's talking about. Do you know the answer, your boy? The right edge. Oh, you got it. I believed in you, really. Yes, in foreign world maps, Japan is placed on the eastern edge. Now you know why they call this part of Asia the Far East. Foreign maps are designed to be centered on the prime meridian at zero degrees of longitude. Oh, I see. Thanks, your boy. Yosuke appreciates you. Bitch, he might. He better. And he might. Shit. I still have Sayoko? Yes, and I have Adachi. Potentially others as well. Let's, uh... Let's go to Aya. Because there's really nothing else that we can do at this point. So... Shopping district. My exist. So... I remember we tried hanging out with Marie, and her existence was wavering. So I don't understand what the fuck that means. Um, I just, well, she doesn't really know what that means either. Dude, give me the beef bowl. Uh, let's see if it's any different. You still can't see the rice. Oh man, no. So I have to have them maxed out. Any knowledge, courage. I heard that you live with a police detective named Dojima-san. My daughter met a man named Dojima when she was when she made a delivery to the police station. She said he looked a little like you. Your family must be filled with handsome men and beautiful women. Well, how kind and a little bit creepy. <laughs> and now, the weather. The week ended on a wet note as rain clouds moved into the area. As a result, a thick fog is expected to form in the Inaba region later tonight. Seems the fog will set in tonight. Did I save Naoto? Uh, I think so. Oh, thanks. Got my red goldfish. And ten breadcrumbs.
Uh, do I have to check it? Why does it take my entire evening to wait for the fucking midnight channel? Why can't it just be the last thing that happens in the day? I'll never understand it. <laughs> it's midnight. The fog has set in. It's not that has been rescued. It seems the killer was thwarted this time. <laughs> what if the creepy music started playing and then someone was just dressing me? No, oh, thank you. Meanwhile, in the foggy shopping district. Again? Thursday, the 6th. Well, hello there. Are you feeling better now? Yes, thanks to all of you. I'd like to thank you once again for what happened. Don't mention it. But, hey, your uniform. Huh? Ah, yes. After contemplating the matter, I went with what I've been wearing thus far. There's no need for you to... Hey, it's the Detective Prince. That's no Prince. I heard he's a she. Huh? Y you serious? If he's a she, then... Uh, oh, crap! Uh, kind of disappointed. But then again, there's something neat about it. <laughs> yeah, if you look at it a certain way, doesn't she seem pretty cool? Uh-oh. <laughs> my, my. Rumors spread so quickly. Uh, we're on your side. Thank you. But it doesn't bother me at all. There's no need to worry on my behalf. So please, treat me as you did before. I'll do what I want. That aside... I'd like to discuss the case with you all. We're dealing with a kidnap and murder case perpetrated by someone lurking in this very well, We don't have the crew. And it isn't over yet. Let's go over the finer points after school. No, my, my days. <laughs> Pretty cool. Juness Food Court. First, I heard the doorbell ring. But when I opened the front door, I saw no one there. Just as alarm bells sounded in my mind, someone grabbed me roughly from behind and covered my mouth with something. Immediately afterward, I was put into something like a sack and most likely carried on the culprit's shoulder. Wow, how could you remember all that? They, but doing this probably, you know, not until I went through mental exercises. The culprit seems to have used a chemical to incapacitate me, but luckily I wasn't completely unconscious. I had been expecting a trick along those lines, so I was somewhat prepared. I'd been knocking myself out every day for a year to, pl to prep for this. And of course, I was desperate to gather as much information as I could. No wonder you're an ace detective! That ain't something to be proud of. You are too damn calm about all this. Judging by their actions and body type, I'd say the culprit is definitely a man. I heard no conversations or voices, so I believe he is acting alone. It's after that that things get murky. I felt a single impact, which I assume is when I was thrown inside the TV. It's actually when he threw you into a different TV and realized, oh shit, that's not the one. But the time from kidnapping to that point seemed too short. It was a matter of minutes. So you were immediately thrown inside the TV after being kidnapped. Oh, could there have been a TV on the side of the road? Regrettably, my memory from there on is a blur. Damn. Intriguing. I see. Yeah. But man, the killer came right up to the door and rang the bell? That's just crazy. Well, so, Yosuke, it's a killer, right? I finally understand why you all testified <clears throat> that you couldn't recall much of what happened. 
such a bizarre experience with mental and physical fatigue on top of it, it's only natural to be confused. And going by the surrounding circumstances, my kidnapping and everyone else's were near identical. There is no question that the culprit is the same in each case. So, that Mitsuo boy who said he killed Kimon... He was just... He was just there. <clears throat> everything makes sense now. I can't say for sure until I gather more concrete evidence. But Mitsuo Kubo's only victim was Mr. Moraoka. It was a copycat killing that mimicked the true culprit's method. No wonder King Moron's death broke the pattern in so many ways. The question remains, though, as to how Kubo learned of that world. That's it! That's what was bothering me! Mitsuo could enter the TV, right? Then why didn't he kill King Moron that way? I believe he didn't understand the other world as well as the true culprit. Even though I can now enter it myself, it wouldn't occur to me to use it for murder. And remember, the previous corpses left no sign that their deaths had anything to do with the other world. After Kubo became wanted, leaving him with nowhere to run, he probably thought for the first time, Go into what the TV. if I put my entire body <laughs> into the TV? The bizarre condition of the corpses that caused such commotion is probably because they died on the other side. It's a simpler explanation than figuring out why the killer would risk disposing of the bodies in such a way. Which means their inexplicable condition of being hung on a foggy day wasn't due to the culprit making a statement. Much of our speculation could be tested if we could ask Kubo in person. Damn, we, we just need Naoto to do this entire thing for us. I've unfortunately been taken off the investigation. And I highly doubt that the police will believe any of this. Yeah. They wouldn't admit that it wasn't Mitsuo in the first place. Once you've said something on TV, it's not easy to admit you were wrong. I believe the primary cause of my dismissal was because I raised that possibility to them. The police won't readily concede that they made false charges. All the more so if <clears throat> the accused is a juvenile. In fact, the overwhelming sentiment with the police force is to end this case with his arrest. Yeah, they just want to be Even done with it. Even if it's possible, there's another killer? Those dickheads. I had a feeling that would be the case. Not that I trusted him in the first place. Dude, Kanji's amazing. But, uh, Naoto, if you were that calm when it happened to you, couldn't you have, you know... I'm not saying you should have caught him, but... Isn't it kind of sad for an ace detective to go down that easily? Bruh. Yosuke, what the fuck? Um... Um... To tell you the truth, I was really scared. I I'm sorry. It can't be helped. Yeah, no, it's Yosuke's fucking fault, None dumbass. None of us could resist the cult either. This goddamn... Don't forget, Naoto-kun is younger than us, and she's a girl. Yosuke's just a piece of shit. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. I keep forgetting when I see her talking like this. You know, Naoto? What is it? You got balls. For a girl. Regardless, I have no doubt that the culprit will continue with his attacks. <sighs> we can only watch and wait for him to make the next move. But this is no longer a mere job or someone else's affair. I want to know the truth of why we were targeted. Please allow me to join your effort. Hell yeah. Of course. Thank you very much. You have a little persona. I'll do my best, leader. Not to join the group. I'll definitely be a strong asset in solving the case. Hell yeah. Rank eight. Ooh. Since I'm the king of the geniuses, I knew it would work out this way. Ta-da! Now Chan's glasses. Thank you. They told me about you, Teddy. I can sympathize <laughs> with your drive to find yourself. If I may help in any way, let me know. Aww. Wow. What a nice girl. True culprit is still at large. For now, you'll just have to wait for them to make the next move. 
<clears throat> For now, it's called social link building. That's what we do here. Oh, welcome home, big bro. We can work as a janitor. Okay, that's what we're doing. Just check, check out Naoto's persona. Level 55? Oh man, we were definitely underleveled. Jiminy Cricket? Tempest Slash, Agudine, Garudine, Mudun, Hamal. What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell is this? Oh my god. That's pretty good. Tempest Slash doesn't mean much. Heavy Fizz damage? Jesus. He has Garudine, though. And Agudine. Damn, dude. Yosuke, why do you suck so much? God damn, dude. Five levels above us? Is the easiest one to mold into what my team is lacking in. Huh. 35 strength. I feel like she could be a super strong um, physical uh, persona user, but her strength is just lacking compared to. Um, Kanji. But Kanji doesn't have AoE uh, moves yet. Unfortunate. But she gets power charge, so maybe that'll make up for it. Alright, um, let's go. So it's evening. Let's go to the shrine. Let's go to the shrine first, and we can talk to that. The ghost lady. Yes, give it to her. Thank you very much. This is an expression of my thanks. Please take this. Kingyo stone? Thank you very much. That was it? Oh, we need to get the, um... The dog. The dog, you know. The, the one that is... What we're trying to get for the mission. Do we get any weapons from the bar? Okay. Oh, I guess all the stores being closed is a sign of, like, Juness, right? Item exchange. Rubber band gun. Oh my god. Not quite. We have 11 halides. No, we can't get any of these. That's unfortunate. Yes. Red crumbs. And Naoto uses actual real guns? Okay, cool. Naoto's amazing. Let's say it's here. Where is the dog? Can't hang out with the dashi. Riverbank. Where? Oh, can I only interact with that dog during the day? Okay. Well, that's fine. Um... Let's, uh, let's go, let's go hang out with Sayoko. Or, sorry, let's go work and meet Sayoko. Yes. Like, rank eight, I think. Inaba, Muni Inaba Municipal Hospital hallway. You busily clean the dark, silent hallways. 
You thought you heard something down from the hall. You decided to pretend not to hear and continue cleaning. Courage has increased. Oh, you there. Sorry, but can you take this person to the... I'm fine. But your face is very pale. You are aware you've gained something of a reputation recently, right? I'm not the only one who would rather see you return to the easy to work with Sayochan from not too long ago. I have work to do, if you'll excuse me. Huh. Don't tell me you're slacking off, too. I know I'm getting nowhere, but I have to do it. Sayoko seems genuinely tormented. You're so worried about Sayoko, you hesitate to even say something to her. What? what? That's it? Goodbye now. Uh, okay. Well, that was a fast, fast one. <laughs> Excuse me. What's up, Naruto? Do you have time after school today? Oh, man. Did something happen? No. Rather, I'd like to have a doctor examine Teddy. A doctor? You mean a vet? <laughs> the normal kind, actually. <laughs> if you're free, I've scheduled a checkup for him after school today. A thorough physical examination might be a good first step in figuring out what Teddy is. <laughs> you can <feel> so amazing. <laughs> and I thought it might be a good idea for the rest of us to get checkups as well. We should see if the fog over there or the power we've gained have had any negative effects on our health. Naruto's the first Persona character I have witnessed that's actually like, hey, what if this power fucked us up in some way? Since you all have been active on the other side far longer than I have, you should definitely be examined. Negative effects? D don't drop scary stuff on us. Yosuke, okay. I nothing. hope you get negative effects. But, yeah, I never even thought about that. I've arranged to have Kanji-kun and Rise-san looked at as well. Wow, you're on the ball about all this. Are you sure you're not an adult? Her height's a big giveaway, though. Well... I'll see you all after school. You'll be going to the hospital after school at Naoto's recommend recommendation. Everyone underwent a thorough physical at the hospital Naoto recommended. That was just an ordinary checkup. Huh. I was kind of looking forward to getting into some gigantic machine and being spun around. <laughs> Is there really a point to this? The doctors look confused too. Oh, they're back. I'm very sorry for the wait. I'm very sorry for the wait. Now there's still so something wrong with them. About Teddy? They did indeed. They found out that they can't tell anything about him. I even had them take an x-ray, but nothing came up on it. No matter how many times they tried, it would always be too blurry to read. A visual examination and standard palpations indicated that he seems perfectly normal. Since the machine could be malfunctioning, they told me to try another hospital if we're still- Yeah, worried. Teddy is actually a cryptid. Um, I felt bad for making them go through Maybe he's an SCP, actually. So he is different. Oh my. What should I do? They took a look at everything inside me. She just said they couldn't see anything <laughs> on the x-ray, you dork. SCP-10. <laughs> at least they didn't find anything wrong with them, right? Man, we know as much about Teddy as we do those personas and shadows. Oh yeah, I tried looking them up at the library and on the net. Persona means something like another personality. And I think they listed shadow under the related terms. Shadows are shadows. I think there's something that comes out of people. Um, I can't really explain. I performed my own research after the incident. Persona and shadow 
are common psychological terms. Of course, the ones we are familiar with don't quite fit those definitions. This is what was written in an unofficial project document that I happened to come across. A shadow is suppressed power, and when controlled by one's ego, it becomes a persona. I bet that was Mitsudo. Persona? What does that mean? They're they're basically the same thing? Yeah, unofficial project. I'm pretty sure that's P3. Well, then again, all those shadows we <laughs> beat the shit out of did turn into personas. Who cares about the details? It doesn't matter what they are. If they get in our way, I'll crush them. Yeah, you will, Kanji. You fucked up now. Still, it's a shadow. I couldn't find any information on how they're related to the other world. <sighs> There's so much stuff about us that we don't have a clue about. It'd be neat to to see if, like, when they were researching Tartarus, they found out about the Midnight Channel. Or maybe because of Tartarus closing and uh, whatever the other place one was in the answer, um, the Midnight Channel existed. There's some Pretend things we existence. do know, though. Mm-hmm. I got a bunch of awesome data with me. It's kind of embarrassing that I'm the only one who had personal details shown to the world, so... Ta-da! No, wait. Nowadays, information wants to be free. Did he steal that? Therefore, I'll break the ice by announcing the results of everyone's <laughs> physical exams. What? No, you won't! Give them to me now! Ooh! First place in the shortest legs division is... Huh, who would have guessed? It's not me, is it? Hey, what kind of things did they examine anyway? Can, can y'all still keep going, or...? Look, if you're gonna blab at all, you might as well tell us the girls' measurements. What?! Are you a complete nutter moron?! Sure, go right ahead. My profile's been public knowledge for ages. Oh, but my bus size is two centimeters smaller than they print. My agency insisted. <laughs> no, don't say mine. Uh, I bet guys won't care what size you are, senpai. And having modestly sized breasts like yours would definitely make it easier to wear a kimono. What? <laughs> oh yeah, Nalto Kun's in here too, huh? Um, let's see. Nalto Kun's is. Is this for real? Wait, isn't this measured wrong? Anyways, what? What? <laughs> the important thing is that according to the examination results, nothing's wrong with our health. So we won't be needing <laughs> these anymore. I'm going to go shred them. <laughs> oh my god. What? You're shredding them? I guess keep them away from uh, Teddy. Well, thank goodness everyone's healthy. Y you're right. Let's go home. <clears throat> Jesus. After all that, they found out nothing about me. I wonder what I really am. You're special, Ted. Why not together? Yeah. Thanks, Sensei. Teddy's, Teddy is gazing at you with gratitude in his eyes. Rank six. Let's go. Maracunda, huh? Mm. Nice. Hey! If you don't hurry, we're gonna leave you guys behind! Okay, bye! Welcome back. <laughs> hey, Dojima. Midterms start next Friday. Study? Um, why would I study? Only nerds study? We have we have one one whole day, huh? Um, let's go to the shopping district. Let's see if Adachi if we can hang out with Adachi. Otherwise, we'll hang out with Sayoko. Okay. Looks like that's what we're gonna be doing. Hmm. That's special janitor. It looks it looked like Adachi's next link is during the day. Okay. 
The now a municipal hospital, empty hospital room. You busily cleaned the recently vacated hospital room. They always say the same thing over and over again. Good work. Can you report today's progress? <clears throat> I got no blips. There weren't any blips from that. <sighs> Good morning, senpai. Exams start next Friday, but I'm just not in the mood for schoolwork. The true killer is somewhere else. Is someone else? We're the only ones who know that. If we don't act, the case will grind to a halt. Hey, tests are important too. I'm not saying they aren't. I'm feeling anxious. We're the only ones with the ability to solve this, this case, and yet we have no way to act. Anyway, we can only wait for the culprit to make his move. Uh, we must not forget to check the Midnight Channel, too. This is a crucial moment. Don't worry. We've been at this for a, a while. Good morning, everyone. Guess what? We're going to have exams at the end of next week. I hope that no one here, no one in here is being an ostrich and goofing around without doing any studying. Did I say ostrich? Because it's a, it's a common metaphor for someone who avoids inconvenient truths. It comes from the common mistake, mistaken belief that ostriches bury their heads in the sand in the face of oncoming danger. To feel safe just be, because you can't see a problem, a sure sign of escaping from reality. Don't be like a fake ostrich. There's another kind of bird, though, that has a cowardly connotation in English. Lay it on me, my dude. Chicken? Yeah. There are many theories as to why. You know how you get goosebumps when you're scared, right? It looks like a de-feathered chicken skin. Wait, then why are they called goosebumps and not chicken bumps? <laughs> well, because chicken pox is chicken bumps. It doesn't matter. The point is, you need to face reality and boldly prepare for your tests next week. Whoa! It's freezing! Why are we getting together on the roof on a day like this? Yeah, what's this urgent business about, Yosuke-senpai? Juness is going out of business. Seriously? I was busy handing out flyers at Juness! Hey, I saw you hitting on girls just outside the school gate. Was there some kind of progress in the case? I need you guys. You have to help me. You're the only ones I can rely on. This motherfucker is going to ask us to work at Juness. Can you please keep this weekend open? This weekend? Does this have anything to do with that event at the Inaba police station that's been canceled? What are you talking about? The idol Konami Mashita was scheduled to be the honorary chief this Sunday. Miss Kahneman is coming all the way out to the boonies? So she's taking on jobs like that already? I have been seeing a lot of her on TV lately. I didn't know she belonged to the same agency as you, Risei-chan. I mean, if she's coming to Inaba now, the agency's obviously trying to use all the fuss about me to their favor. So what's the big deal about that being canceled, Yosuke-senpai? was going to be a big sale at Juness to take advantage of the event, but now it's down the tubes! It's not a joke! The police took forever to decide on canceling the event. My dad's really in a fix now. I don't understand how that's our problem, so Yosuke. It's so hard to put this whole thing together, and I can't stand to see him like this. I can't just let it go. I heard that the police couldn't prepare for the event because I had gone missing. I'm sorry. This is my fault. No, no. No, it's not your fault. Don't blame yourself. But yeah, it does seem like that's what happened. Okay, so you called us up here. What do you want us to do about it? From the way it sounds, I gotta say, I don't think we can be much help. This motherfucker. About to spout some shit. I want everyone to help me with a bunch of different tasks. Um, Risa-san, well, if you could, you know, do an event at Juness. 
You want me to substitute for Konami? So there's no way? <sighs> Is it really that bad? Jesus Christ, Yosuke. I don't know. I may be his son, but I'm still only a part-timer. But my dad's being awfully nice for some reason. I think it's possible that he might get fired if this thing falls through. If that happens, I might have to transfer schools again. <laughs> Seriously, uh, what am I gonna weird. do if that happens? Yeah, what are we gonna do if that happens? Bye. <laughs> Singing and handshakes only. No autographs and nothing that I can't do as a high school student. Otherwise, I'll get in trouble. And I'll only do it if you all get on stage with me. What? Wait! I'm no idol! Oh shit, this is how we get the dancing game? It would be troublesome if people came to try to recruit me to be an idol. Me too! I already have an exclusive contract with Juness. I think you guys are worrying about the right things here. But if you're gonna sing, what are we supposed to do on stage? Dance. We need a band, of course. I'll make this very clear. I can't use pre-recorded tracks. Oh. Whoa, there's no way we can pull off something like that. I have some experience playing the keyboard. My grandfather suggested that I take piano lessons when I was young. Damn, Naruto. I have one that I can bring as well. You're up for this? This incident is a result of my actions, after all. I will do whatever I can to help. Naoto, thanks. If it's music you need, I have a guitar. Never really played it, though. Oh, wait. I accidentally bought a bass once. I think it's in storage. How do you accidentally buy something like that? I bet you just thought it was another If guitar. you don't know the difference, they have the same fucking shape. Just saying. I should have some kind of musical instrument at my place for dinner parties and such. Some kind of instrument? Oh boy. <laughs> then it's decided. Kaji. I'll look for a song I can sing that can use a band arrangement. You guys get instruments and find a place to practice. Got it. Try to pick an easy one, okay? All right. Now that this is happening, I'm getting fired up about it. Let's go ask if we can borrow the music room at school. Yeah, dude, let's do it. I love band. I was a drummer back in the day. Still kind of am. So Who's the, is Kanji going to be the drummer? Do with these? I just grabbed whatever I could find that wasn't being used by the symphonic band. Wow, did you ask for permission? What is that? It's a gong. He brought a fucking gong? Oh, Yukiko. How, what, how, did you just wheel it all the way over uh, here? I'm pretty sure he meant to ask, what is that doing here? Jesus Christ. I thought Chie might want to play that. You know, it sounds kind of Chinese-ish. <sighs> um, I don't think it's gonna really matter in this <laughs> It does nothing. You would get it like one time maybe. Try holding these! Huh? Maracas! I see. Yeah! You do look like that when you're fighting. <laughs> Try summoning your persona while you're holding those. Alright. Persona! Wait, I can't summon it here! <laughs> I'll choose this then. <laughs> look, look! Isn't this like my fan? I think she's convinced <laughs> we're playing for a dinner party at the inn. Bro, I'm gonna be so upset if Kanji's gonna play like cymbals or some shit. Come on, we need stuff like guitars instead of little backup instruments like these. There's like seven of us, dude. Hey, I'll play the guitar. Why don't you take Eight the bass? I can at least teach you a little bit. Don't underestimate me. Damn, maybe you're gonna show me how to play. I'm gonna trust you. Yeah, dude. I I used to play double bass well, in since college. Since you two and Naoto kun so. have decided what to play, let's put Kanji on drums. If I just hey, half that, I then pick? I get the bass guitar, right? 
That's how that works. If you're up front, it'll look like a metal band. I think you'd be good at the drums. You're always hitting. Are you trying to hide our boy? Ball. What the fuck? How does that make any sense? <laughs> then I will take over all the charming percussion accoutrement. Hey, baby, I lay down the passionate beats that flow from my soul. It, it, she's doing this, and I don't, I don't like it. So that leaves Yukiko and me. You two. Um, how about the chorus? There is a part for that. Singing? No, 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 can do. We'll hold something. Let's see. What looks easy? The trumpet. You're gonna hold the cymbals. Oh, okay. Trumpet and sax. Uh, oh, doesn't this at least look like a band? Yeah, I don't think it looks bad at all. Does Teddy have a snare and two bongos? Or two, two congas? It's not doing anything. Is this thing this hurts. I'm blowing, but the air goes right through. You have to do a buzz with your lips. That's how it is for everyone when they start out. Anyway, we don't have much time, so let's start practicing. What's with all the tadpoles on this paper? Oh, Teddy can't read. Oh, yeah. I don't know how to read music. <laughs> I guess I'm going to have to transfer schools after all. Jesus, Yosuke, shut the fuck up. Go. Damn, dude. You all just you all practice on your own until it gets dark. You decided to meet again tomorrow. Yosuke, just go. We don't need you here. Look. Debbie Downer. What did we plant? Tomatoes? Or cabbage? Tomatoes. They look yummy. We've got veggies. Like, they got a band together, but, like, what, when is this thing going to happen? This weekend? You're asking two people to learn how to play the saxophone and the trumpet in less than a week? Only in Persona, I guess. Come on, grow! She's excited. gonna save i don't know that was a weird fucking moonwalk thing that i did but saturday evening uh no we have a week to do it okay saturday evening let's see if we can't do we can't find the dog we have to do that during the day let's go ahead and what about that lady hold on a second no 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 there had to be some reason for that lady at the shrine, right? Because she scared the shit out of me. So, I have an interest in her now. She's still here? No, okay. Catch bugs. Bugs. Alright, here we go. What? It was off? I pressed it as soon as I saw the fucking thing. This game. I got two perfects. Couldn't keep it, th uh, do it for a third time, huh? How sad. We'll, uh, we'll do the thing where we give the bug. Got much colder lately. That reminds me, did you notice the construction sign next to my place? I didn't see it when they put them up, but have you ever seen any construction actually going on there? I wonder if the construction was cancelled by some bigwig who thinks their desolate time is beyond saving. I wish they'd at least take that sign away, but nobody said anything about it. Perhaps no one even cares. 
Hmm? Do you want a present? Yes, we do. Okay. I wonder if that's a social link if I work there. Back home. I wonder what the point of the lady in white was supposed to be. She was really spooky. She'll probably be back later. Hold some fucking cranes, bro. Let your eyes relax. Your hands went ahead and made cranes while you daydreamed. You woke up to a mountain of origami cranes. Bundle of cranes has been completed. An antibiotic gel? Shit, dude, I want biotics. Give me probiotics. <laughs> Once more from the, from the top. Oh, okay. All right, game. One, two, three. That wasn't me, I think. That wasn't me either. I mean, I can't get any sound at all out of this. <laughs> A hip and young audience yearns for the element of surprise in music as well. Hey, A not. bizarre sound suddenly rings out. An overturning of the expected cliches no. found in today's sound. You get it? Oh, I get it. That means Teddy did it, doesn't it? Huh? <laughs> reaction overturned my expectations. <laughs> get him, Kanji. Beat the shit out of him. Why don't we take a break? We've been at this since morning. Good idea. My fingers are all stiff. Nice follow up now, Chan. I think I'm falling for you. Jesus. Let's just ignore this bear. Do we have to have Teddy? Like, does he have to be here? Are we really going to manage this? I'm starting to get the feeling that it's impossible no matter what we do. There's just not enough time. Everyone is silent. Yukiko is trying to practice. Sensei, I I want to play in a band. Well, stop being a then dipshit, over, Teddy. Then it's over for Yosuke, too. That means it's over for me. And I can't bear to face that. <laughs> I don't want to know that you're only doing this because you're selfish. Yosuke, we're doing this because you're selfish. But you've got a point. I guess you know, you're doing this you for your dad. Up, it all ends there. Maybe you're not as selfish, but you're still pretty selfish. Self-centered. Right. Everything would have been for nothing if we give up now. Real brawl doesn't begin until you got your back to a wall. Uh, we're not talking about a brawl here. He's doing it for his dad, Jesus. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. It too. It's not just about Yosuke now. I'll simply feel angry at myself if I give up. Yukiko's trying her hardest Don't right now. Don't worry, Yosuke-senpai. I agreed to do also, this. Also, her so feet I'll are do doing this weird shuffle thing. I don't know if y'all can see it. On my screen, her feet are doing this like... Eh, eh, eh. I didn't say anything pathetic like, I'll do what I can. I'm going to get a huge crowd, no matter what, and they will go home satisfied. Please, I just need your help to do it. Wow. Now that's how a pro delivers a team-boosting speech. Sure. <laughs> well then, should we resume our practice? All right, let's do this! I did it! I did it! So this isn't broken after all! <laughs> 
She tried so hard. She finally got sounds to come out. Okay, let's try putting your music together and I'll sing along. Whoa, wait a sec. Can't we get a little more practice before we try doing that stuff? This is this is Learn practice. For the real so. reset. I mean, I'm all for that. Don't think of it like that. I'm seeing how hard you're trying, and I don't want to just sit and watch you practice without me anymore. Here goes. One, two, three, four. Damn. Tasty bass licks. That... Didn't that sound pretty good? It did sound pretty good. That was actual music! <laughs> yeah, it felt good. It seems there's hope after all. They got this in the two days. Practiced hard and overcome many obstacles that dared face them. But now is their time to truly shine. All they have to do is discard whatever remaining fear holds them back, and a lifetime of public adoration awaits. I don't know. There must be persona users to learn instruments in two days. Hell no. We've already been on a TV show, a midnight one. I was discarding my clothes more than I was discarding my fear. For me, it was like discarding my public image anyway. <laughs> that face, though. Come on, everyone. Let's cheer up, okay? <laughs> and you. You have a bunch of stuff lined up, but you're still only playing the tambourine. <laughs> Haven't you heard the phrase, a clever bear conceals his claws? I'm going to play not... a special what? little bear formance of my own and charm all the girls. That sings about a hawk, not a bear. And don't even think about it. We don't have the skills to ad lib. Do you understand me? We're doing this exactly like we practiced. Got it? Get him. What? If you don't, then I'll make sure you pay for all the topsicles you've eaten during breaks at work. Ooh. Just like we practiced. Got it? Well, let's take Comes it from the a lot of one more time. Keep up that energy that we had before. What? Everyone's hard work is slowly taking shape. You practice late into the night and for the actual performance tomorrow. Oh, it was on Monday. I see. So we 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 learned in Welcome back. Three days. Damn. Persona users are a different kind of beast, huh? You realize that you haven't bought anything from the home shop? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. What? Let's see. Nice shoes. Huge fish. Um. We'll go for huge fish. With the dry eye get the huge fish with the dry ice. You know the ones. Mm. Brains. You carefully and precisely folded crayons for a person you have never met. I cheer myself up. You continue to make cranes and cheer yourself up. Excellent. Monday. The crowd's a lot bigger than I expected. Don't say stuff like that. You're making me even more nervous. Just assume that you're always playing to a huge crowd. Uh, our costumes okay? I mean, I mean, they're just our normal school uniforms. Even worse than the winter ones. 
What else could we have done? It's not like we have any costumes. The clothes we've been wearing all summer will work as costumes, and since we'll be changing wardrobes tomorrow, it works out. Oh, crap. I, I can't stop my legs from shaking. Just, just turn that into the, the petals, dude. You'll be hitting the skins more than a bare knuckle boxer. <laughs> you shut your stupid bear trap. I don't need to hear this. You've been on TV before, right now, Tokun? Aren't you used to this? You haven't said a word, though. The last time I played for a crowd was a piano recital when I was young. Doing an interview on TV is much easier. Even if I make a mistake, I'm the only one who gets embarrassed by it. You're saying doing interviews is easy? That's crazy, too. Oh, I can't take this much longer. Don't you get nervous, too? I get nervous all the time, dude. <laughs> I'm screaming on the inside. Wait, you are? Sensei's face is like a waterfall! Uh, what are we supposed to do? Huh? Did someone just... Everyone, can you gather around for a second? Y yeah, got what? it. We're not going to talk about that? We just got him locked off. Like, I don't, was that supposed to mean something? Your hearts are all racing, right? So is mine. But that's the power behind a live performance. Adrenaline. We're not doing everything exactly right. The crowd's here to have fun, so we need to have fun first. Rise, John. When I say who's ready, you say we are, okay? Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. <laughs> Be thankful for your fans, your friends, and yourself. This is a full-blown, one-time-only performance. Now, who's ready? We are! We are! Fired up and ready to go! Now, listen up. We're sticking to how we practiced, okay? Fucking Teddy. Is this a cutscene? I should have saved. Yeah! Thank God. Okay. Kanji. <laughs> Damn. Lucky Teddy. Nice. One and done. Get the fuck off stage. <laughs> That's pretty good. Encore! Encore! Oh, shit. They're asking for an encore. We only had the one song. Oh, yeah, I, I didn't think about that. We only know one song. What do we do now? There are only two things we can do. Ignore them and leave, or play the same song over again. I can play the bass for them. Maybe we can have Risa explain our situation and they'll go easy on us and let us replay that song. I saw that guy before. Yeah. Uh, I'm getting fired up! Oh shit, is Teddy gonna go Super Saiyan? dive into the crowd they might just carry us out of here and we can escape to that's such a bad idea 
stage dive? Oh no. Hey, don't sound so excited. <laughs> Actually, if all seven of us jump in, there'd be trouble. Then what are we gonna do? And do we have any other way out? If you want to do it that much, then just the guys do it. Uh, all right. I'll show you what it means <laughs> to be a man. Kaji, do it. Hey, wait, you idiot! Damn, I look sick as fuck. It just dodged out of the way. How? I didn't know it was possible to stand <laughs> on your own face. Nice. You and your friends have become legends among your peers. Enough people have gathered at Juness that you considered this mission accomplished. At least so you tell yourself. Teddy probably weighs like nothing. Welcome back. Let's save. Okay. Monday evening. Uh, let's... I feel like it's a waste of time to keep doing this, but we can't start Naruto's until we get... Was it knowledge or was it understanding? It's probably understanding. Who would these cranes go to? A persistent boy. You made the best wishes for the recipients of the original cranes you were making. Or the or origami... Fuck! Origami cranes, not original cranes. I'm not folding actual cranes. Just so you guys know. Hey. Morning, you boykin. Man, that was exhausting yesterday. That was my first time being up on stage like that. Risa had to do stuff like that all the time when she was working, right? I'd never be able to live like that. And this week, we've got midterms. Oh, hey, we should have a study session with everybody else after school. We're all in the same boat, right? Let's help each other out. Help each other? That's right, help each other. Okay, so what if I'm more on the being help side than the helping others side? Come on, help those of us who are academically challenged. I'll invite everyone, please. <laughs> Damn, dude. The Fue. Now, please take a look at the second page of the handout. It's about Napoleon. Napoleon went on many military campaigns and needed something very specific. Napoleon had these made. Your boy, would you stand up, please? What did Napoleon have invented? Um. It wouldn't be cans. I don't. I don't think it's a thing. Brandy. What? Why would he need to invent brandy? Dictionaries. I don't know about glass jars. <laughs> he invented dynamite. Obviously. Shut up. That's not an option. We know he didn't do that. Um. Gosh. Uh, glass jars or dictionaries? Uh, I'm gonna go with glass jars. <laughs> why would he, why would he invent glass jars? He went on multiple military campaigns. Why did he need glass jars? Dictionaries could be. <laughs> yeah. Dictionaries would make sense. That way we could just communicate better or something. So, so soldiers could speak with locals. What if he invented dictionaries so that that way he could step on them to be of you know look into their eyes directly? I think the dictionaries part makes sense though. 
glass jars. Napoleon had a con held a contest with lots of reward money to whoever can come up with a way to preserve food on long campaigns. Nicholas Appert s submitted his method for canning food in 1804, paving the way for the food preservation industry. It's a, it's a common misconception, but Napoleon was not involved with the actual invention of metal cans. The first canned foods were kept in glass jars. Tin or iron cans were invented in 1810 as an alternate alternative to heavier jars. An actual can opener, however, wouldn't be invented for another 45 years. Before the invention of the can opener, soldiers would use bayonets to cut open cans or smash them with rocks. Oh my god. There's a lot there. It was glass jars. Juness Food Court. Oh, hi Nanako-chan. Hi Teddy. Hey, greetings to you. Greetings to you. Looks like you're having fun. Yo. Everything's great at your Juness. <laughs> wow, everyone's here. So many people. Oh no, he's influencing. Yeah, Teddy, could you not? Why did everyone not was precious. Exam study group. Times like these, I'm jealous of Teddy. It seems like a dream that we had a live concert here only yesterday. Did we not invite Nanako-chan? That was so much fun. I didn't think the crowd would get oh, I, I'm so ashamed that we didn't get a choice for that. But enough of that. Let's start with proving the trigonometric identities. Uh. Oh, so jumping straight into math? Ours is the section on trig functions, right? The one where we find the area of a triangle given two sides and... Huh? You find the area of a triangle with... You know, that thing. Um... Base by height by two. Oh. If you don't mind, shall I teach you? Oh, are you as smart as I thought? Could you, uh... What the fuck, too? Yosuke? Oh, um, I wouldn't know where to begin with second year's subjects. <laughs> uh, what's up with that? Useless after all. Don't call me useless. <laughs> I think I've figured out what buttons to push to get now to cool riled up. Yosuke, if that's your job, you are so fucking good at it. Pretty cute when you're angry. What? What are you talking about? That's it. I quit. It just ain't my thing. <laughs> to hell with the exams. It's time for my animal crackers. Kanji's right. Too? I want to find the penguin. Hands off the penguin. It's mine. <laughs> oh, forget it. I can't think. <laughs> Hands off the penguin. Teddy says he doesn't know who he is. <laughs> That's so weird. My life on this side is really fun. But the more I feel that way, the more I want to know who I really am. I've surfed the net, read manga, watched TV. I even went to a place called the library, but I still can't find anything about me. This guy. Dude, I'd be surprised if you did. Still, I'm starting to get an idea. Really? An idea? Whoa. Isn't this your first time sharing a theory about yourself? I lived in that other world. That world was my Nanako's reality. just here. But now, I have a feeling that it was born from the minds of people on this side. Oh my. And over in that place, filled with shadows, I think I was some sort of special being. A special being? I don't remember anything from back then, though. Maybe it's that amnesia thing I read about in a book the other day. It's true. There are some aspects of the other world that make it seem as though it's rooted in we're human just, thoughts. We're just gonna, you know, ignore Nanako? Still, there's no point in applying the principles of logic and deduction to a place like that. But the fact that you existed in such a world from the beginning adds credibility to your theory. There is little doubt that you are a special being on the other side. If you yourself know nothing about it, Perhaps it's true that part of your memory is missing. Tell me, what is the earliest memory you can call to mind? It's from a while ago. I've always lived there as far as I could tell. 
Then it started to get noisy, so when I happened to bump into Sensei and Yosuke, I asked them to do something about it. I see. If you've always been on that side, you'd have no sense of time or days. Oh, that's right! Nanako-chan's completely clueless about all this! Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry, Nanako-chan. We didn't mean to leave you out. Hey! I think Teddy must be a king. I read in a story that a king was all alone inside a forest because of a bad guy's curse. Isn't that what happened to you, Teddy? Nanako is so fucking precious. A king? Well, when you put it that way, it sounds about right. Teddy? A king? <laughs> I can see him wearing a cape! <laughs> Sheesh, Yukiko. You go into laughing fits in front of anyone now. Can we... What's wrong with that? talk about Teddy being a king. <laughs> huh? What's with that face? Poor Kaji. Teddy really was a king. There are all these other kings too, and we all. Hey, he's talking about what happened at the club. Quiet, <laughs> you not in front of Nanako chan. <laughs> Everyone left their seats to go buy drinks to Nanako. Am I really a king? Maybe so. <laughs> if I'm a king, I'll get to smooch girls every day. Teddy is smirking. I have this fuzzy feeling that I'll find out sooner or later with your help, Sensei. Teddy, wait. <laughs> Teddy, no. Damn, dude. He's popping off. Of course, Teddy would get fuzzy feelings. Fuck off. <laughs> Teddy's determination in battle has been enhanced. He now he can hey, endure bro. mortal blow. Teddy, is melon soda okay? Of course, Nanako. Anything you get me would be great. Most of the time, I'm sure. I had fun at Juness. I'm glad. Today's Tuesday. Is Hermit Naoto? Hermit is the fox. We haven't been able to find this fucking dog, by the way. Very upsetting. That lady here? No. <laughs> Let me try to catch more bugs. Alright. We're, we're, we're here. Perfect timing. We caught a grasshopper, a locust, grasshopper, and a grasshopper. Oh, I know we have to find the dog a day. I'm not trying to find the dog right now. Oh, that's Yosuke. No, we're good. We don't need to hang out with Yosuke. I think we just need to go back. Oh, it's I! I wonder if Marie has a poem. She doesn't. Do, 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 do. It's a little depressing that Yosuke stands in front of Konishi Liquors at night. Yeah, I'm not gonna think about that because that is very sad. <laughs> it's a, a little sad. He's probably gonna just be like, oh hey, I'm just remembering, you know, Senpai. Oh shit. Hello, this is Naoto. Do you have time to go into the world inside the TV tomorrow? I want to see the power of the personas with my own eyes. What do you think about it? Not so hung up. I did think about it later. Can I put things here? No. Uh, let's make cranes. Cranes. Oh, 
We've done it. Take a deep breath and recall. We have fucking done it. Yo, your boy, good morning. You know, lately, whenever we're over there, I've been wondering, does it feel like you've seen those shadows before? I mean, we fought robots and stuff that look like they're right out of anime, right? Doesn't that bother you? Now that you mention it. They are familiar to me, but for different reasons. Uh, remember how our other selves had those logos like a TV show? Maybe it was like that for the same reason as to why his shadows look like something from the TV. Teddy said before that the other world is somehow related to our minds. I completely fucked up that sentence. Uh, people who watch the Midnight Channel believe it's a TV show, and we treat that world as something inside the TV. So maybe that's why. Or is it simply because all of us have had our brains soaked in television since we were kids? I guess I can't really deny that. I can't help watching Hong Kong action movies when they're on TV. TA is just like, hey, here's a theory I have. I haven't really talked about it with anyone else. What do you think of it? I'm like, that sounds right to me. It's so tiring to come up with stuff for the exams. All I want to do is go home and see how my stocks are doing. By the way, Halloween's at the end of this month. I'm sure you've forgotten what with tests and festivals and all. Speaking of Halloween, the first jack-o'-lanterns weren't made out of pumpkins. Hmm, Satanaka-san, I'll pick you. Since you don't seem to care about veggies, now I'll choose my dukin. Oh, okay. Do you know what vegetable was used to make the first jack-o'-lanterns? Why would it be turnips or eggplants? I feel like watermelons would just burn. Turnips are small, right? Turnip with a spooky face would be spooky. Yeah, but that's just because it's a spooky face. Anything that has a spooky face can be spooky. I don't think it would be watermelons. I think it was really pumpkins. No, that's incorrect. Turnips! What?! When that tradition was carried onto the US, they started using pumpkins because they were plentiful and easier to carve. While we're on the subject, I'm hoping that my stocks will turn up. No? Fine, plants aren't my style anyway. Man. Yeah, but I thought all turnips were really tiny. Like, like, really small. Right? Like, I don't know. Maybe my conception of jack-o'-lanterns are, are warped. No? Okay. Uh, since you have no leads, you must wait until the criminal takes action. Okay. Raining. Damn it, dude. Yeah, this de this dog won't be found. Uh, but you know, I'm gonna go to the li library. We're gonna study. Oh, fuck! I can just go talk to them. Yeah, you're right. There it is. <laughs> That's all we needed. Don't forget to take the tutor job. Yes. Fridge, fridge is full of food. Oh my god. Everything. Uh. Shopping district. Adachi. Hello, Chi. Ten thousand yen. Okay, we got we picked up the tutor job. 
Oh, it is Thursday. Yeah. Well, maybe. Every time he's ra it's raining, he's never there. Oh. Ooh. Let's go. You know, Sayoko. Is this like? Will that actually work? Maybe. Well, I guess the blips are at the beginning. Can you report today's progress? Okay, cool. I always thought the blips were after. Not at the beginning. I guess sometimes they can happen in the middle. Or uh, during the, the hangout. You ever hear students talking? Uh, midterm starts tomorrow, but I feel so lazy. I can't believe you're so hardcore about studying for the exams, senpai. Are you sure you're going to need to know all the stuff in the future? Well, you probably won't. By the way, would you not say the word lazy around me, especially this early in the morning? Whatever. After exams, we have the culture festival. There's... Bruh. There are more first-year students this year, so the festival could be more fun than it was last year. Hmm, okay. Oh, shit. Kanji! Yo! Yo, you boy senpai. Hey, are you busy after school? I feel like hanging out with someone. Think about it, okay? So there's a teacher here who tried to put a problem on the test involving a student's bust waist hip measurements. I won't say who, but isn't that just wrong? I mean, who cares about a high school girl's measurements? It would have been much more interesting if they were mine, huh? But man, middle-aged dudes are so perverted, I can feel them looking at me in the faculty lounge. By the way, speaking of middle-aged men, there's this cute little fish called the Ojisan. Isn't that a cute name? Too bad there's no fish called the Obasan. I guess that's because no matter how old we get, women are still women. Oh, you're looking. Were you listening to what I just said? What kind of fish was I just talking about? Ojisan. Well, there's no fish called the Obasan. It's actually named the goatfish, but it's commonly called the Ojisan. It's called that because it has whiskers and it looks just like a middle-aged man. I want you to remember that, that, so I'll be putting it on the test that starts tomorrow. <laughs> middle-aged man, huh? You know, that old man is really fucking creepy, so I wouldn't put it past him to try and do that. Let's go look for the dog. Yes, the first thing we have to do. Um, it seems the dog is still wary of you. What should you do? Talk to it gently. The dog became less wary of you. The dog isn't trying to run away. It seems to like you, but it seems to be out of energy. Perhaps it's hungry. If you give it some something a dog would eat, maybe it may become generation. A little stick skewer. The dog looks happy. The dog ran away energetically. It should be able to return to its owner's house now. Nice. So. With that in mind, do we go to the shrine? Do we go to Juness? Okay, Juness is out of the question. Do we hang out with Kanji? We'll probably, yeah. Well, so we can always do the fox during rainy days. So uh, let's 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 go hang out with our boy, our boy Kanji. Kanji Kun. Not like we can hang out with anyone coming up anyway. Yo. We're gonna we're gonna hang out with Kanji. Yeah. Let's go. 
Kamigawa River Bank. Can't get this place out of my head. I keep wondering if that rabbit the kid tossed out might wash the shore around here. If he finds it now, he'll just feel bad. Not that I'm waiting in today or anything. Hey, mister! There you are. Tanachan was really happy. I've been looking for you ever since. Look, kid, quit calling. I ah, forget it. Can you make me some more, mister? My mom really wants one. Tanachan's mom does too. They said they'll pay you. Huh? Pay me? I don't need that. I, it ain't like I'm a pro at this. My mom wants a cat, and Sunshine's mom wants a dog. My teacher wants a pink alligator. Pink alligator? Oh, like the one in that storybook, huh? Fine then. I'll get around to it sometime. Hey, thank you. Remember, you promised. This kid's getting full of himself. <sighs> Strange situation I got myself into, ain't it? Good for you. Good? I don't really know. Anji is tilting his head. When I was in elementary school, I fixed a classmate's bag this one time. Thinking back, I guess I liked her. Uh, I only did it to make her happy, but the next day, all the girls were making fun of her. She cried. I didn't understand why, but, you know, I thought I'd done something wrong. So I never thought I'd be thanked for doing this stuff. It feels good. <laughs> Hearing thank you. I like it. Anji is laughing sheepishly. You feel you understand Kanji even better. Kanji's just figuring out his emotions. Kanji! Howard Sh- This bitch! Oh my god. Uh, I'll get rid of Dizzy Boost. Actually, is there any skills here? So we have Fatal End, Cool Attack. We have a lot of one. Jump dizzy boost. All right. Oh, cause yeah, yeah. Well, I got a jet. All right. I have to go back to Oak New Station to the uh, fabric shop. I'm out of material, so later. Kanji so precious. You're back. Now let's go to tutor. Is there a social link for tutoring? Is is that why? I don't even know what happened there, and I'm not gonna fucking. I'm not even gonna bother. <laughs> it was tutoring. Yeah, let's see what's going on. I'm Shu Nakajima. I see. Nice to meet you. I'm sorry, he's just a shy boy. But he's so smart, you know? He got the highest score in his class on his last test, and the teacher. Mom! Enough of that. We're going out to study now, so get out. Of course, dear. I don't want to bother you while you're learning. But still, your boy Kun, was it? I hear Yasugami High's scores are starting to climb up there. Shu's already in his second year of middle school, so we need to start thinking about applying to high schools. Well, knowing him, I'm not worried about getting into a good school, but when it's time for college... Mom, that's enough, I said. Oh my, I guess you're right. Well then, your boy Kun, please make sure you teach him well. Study hard, Shugshan. Okay. Your voice on, right? Let me tell you up front, I have no intention of attending Yasugami High. The cram school I was going to wasn't that good, so I decided I needed to switch to private tutoring. You're the only one available, so I think if I think you're inadequate, I'll have you replaced immediately. Remember that. You're a little prick. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> then what should we start with? I don't have any subjects that I'm particularly bad at. You feel confident that you should teach him? P.E. -E, bitch. <laughs> That's not funny. Stu fixes you with an icy glare, but you ignore it. Your diligence has increased. 
<laughs> he tutored Shu. He grasps con <clears throat> he grasps concepts quickly. He answers the problems you have for him in no time at all. You've worked hard in explaining the subject matter to him in an easy to understand manner. Your expression has increased. Your knowledge has increased. Ah, oh, it's a shame that both of those were maxed out. We'll continue next time. You were a good tutor. It was easy for me to understand what you were talking about. I'm sure my natural intelligence had something to do with that as well, of course. You're more than welcome to come again whenever you have the time. I'll keep working on my own pace as well, so uh, please come teach me again. You're accepted as a new tutor. You have become acquaintances with Shu Nakajima, the snooty tutoring pupil. You feel a faint bond forming between you and Shu. Tower. Got it. I feel like towers are like they're they're held up to they're they're held up to like a standard, right? But deep down they want to be something else. Goodbye. Ten thousand yen. Oh boy. It's Friday. We ready? It's time for exams, fam. Ooh. All right. Hmm. Uh, oh, morning. Hey, how much studying did you get done after we met up? Actually, have you studied at all? Of course. I see, of course you would. Wait, I remember asking you the same thing last time we had exams. Crap. Could it be? Am I really that hopeless right now? Come on, Chia, keep it together, girl. <laughs> Mid -tame. Mid, mid tames day one. <laughs> what part of the body contains the Adam's apple? Right. Where would you find Japan on a map made in a foreign country? The right edge. Come on. Give me this the double question. Sneaky. Midterms, day two. How short was history's shortest war? 40 minutes. Venison is the meat of what animal? All of the above. But it's referred to as venison. Uh, well, deer is referred to as venison, normally. Fucking. Okay. Yeah, con I think he's an effective teacher because he's a piece of shit. <laughs> Uh, what should we do today? Sorry, that was very mean. He got the knowledge through, which means he's a good teacher. So. Hey, it's me. Ah, fuck. Do you want to make a study group today? We've got four more days of exams. Sure. I guess, Yosuke. Gonna get hella blips. Oh shit, hella blips. <laughs> it's getting to be a custom for us to meet up like this. But that aside, can I borrow your notes? <laughs> Borrowing notes is getting to be a custom too. Alright, let's get started. But first, I want a melon soda. Is that your way of saying you'll lend me in your notes if I buy you a melon soda? Could be. <laughs> Yosuke-san and Chie-san seem to get, al get along well. Why don't you two date? Never. Hey, you- That was quick. <laughs> you two know it's okay. You, sh you should go out with Kanji. Huh? Please stop it. <laughs> How cute. Hey, Senpai, wouldn't Kanji and Naoto can make a, cute, a good couple? I think they would. I think they would. Senpai! Oh, no, yeah, boy, senpai. That's enough, guys. Let's get back to studying. <laughs> damn. Damn. Double, triple damn. And I didn't start the one in Naoto. You didn't make any progress with your studies, but you spent a fun afternoon with the group. Bro. Well. <laughs> Pretty good. Welcome back. 
Uh, let's save. Yeah, no knowledge increase. Not that we need it. Uh, we need to work on our courage. And our diligence. Our diligence. You know, I think there's a book that we had to to get more diligence from envelope stuff. What do you got? Red battle suit. And physical mirror times three with magical mirror. Give me the fucking mirrors, dude. Uh, let's see. Read. Courage, courage, courage. More diligence when making envelopes? Ah, I see. I see, I see. That's gonna take two days. Alright, well, we can easily... The Lovely Man. You begin reading The Lovely Man. Every chapter begins, all men have the great spirit of masculinity within, within themselves. This spirit of true manhood transcends space and time, and all people, of all cultures and genders, feel its call. You feel more like a real man than ever before. Did you finish hyperspeed? Yeah, okay. Significantly increased? Okay. What is the Japanese name for panda? Yeah. Which bird is falsely known for being cowardly in the English phrase to stick one's head in the sand? Ostrich. Midterms are a little bit more difficult than the previous exams. What was the name of the Wasan textbook that came out in the Edo period? Math Girl. What did Napoleon have invented? Glass jars. We're fucking getting these. We're winning. Midterms, day five. Which season is the adjective brisk Akigo for? Fall. What is dragon's blood? Plant resin. We're so good. The last day of exams. You've answered every question with ease. The answers seem to be flowing from your hand. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. I did not miss exams in school. It's finally over. Hey, about question eight. Yeah, and you can go completely absorbed in reviewing the exam. I pulled an all-nighter last night, so I'm ready to collapse any second now. I'm gonna head home. See you later. Later, nerd. Yosuke left. At last, the long midterms are finally over. Today was the final day of midterms. Since you have no leads, you must wait. Okay. You know what we're gonna do, right? Uh... I had it in my head. Um, I was either going to go to the shrine and get the next one, but actually, let's see if we can hang out with Naoto. I doubt we can, but it would be neat. Everyone. Where is Naoto? It's the first time I've actually cared about how I did on the test. Will I be okay? Will I be right? I don't feel like I did too bad. I just remembered. Hey, would you mind helping me out with something? High speed gear? I might know. Oh god. I'm gonna get ten of them. 
First floor in front of the bathrooms. In the bathroom? Oh, right here. Okay. So not there. Ugh. Oh, you know who might be available? That be. You better be here. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> Marie? Oh, yeah, we need to hang out with her. Uh, too many things. You know what's odd? I think I think Persona 5 did a really good job. Oh my god. Let's see if we can hang out with her. Um, P5 did a really good job at respecting your time when it came to like deciding who who's available. Huh? I can't, but I can't leave. Distance is wavering. I don't understand. Did I not hang out with her soon enough? Maybe? Yeah. Fast travel, you would have, like, the person's icon above the location. Saying, hey, you can hang out with them right now. Why am I here? I'm looking for kanji for some reason here. Back to the high school. Um, I think it's too bad. P three and P four since the maps are really small. Yeah. Oh. What do you want? What? Oh, fine then. Okay. Fuck you. Bam. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Kanji. Yeah. Get some time. But Kanji, I will, I will hang out with Kanji. He deserves to be maxed out. Well, they all deserve to be maxed out. But the hill overlooking town. You spend some quiet moments with Kanji. So it's not going to advance anytime soon. Where's Nanako? Nanako doesn't seem to be home. I'm home. Oh, welcome back. There was a letter in the mailbox for you. The letter is addressed to Mr. Your Boy, my dude. But the sender's name and address are nowhere to be found. There's only one sentence printed. Don't rescue anymore. What? Is it from a friend? Uh. My show is almost done. So we need to call people. Could this be a warning from the killer? Or is it just a prank? You should discuss this with the group tomorrow. Bro, no! Tell Dojima. I'll protect you all from the madness of this world. Light? I'll take you to a place where you can be at peace. Oh, yes. I think I know who this is. It's much more peaceful than here. Maybe not. Is this the 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 husband or the 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 person that that uh, reporter had the affair with? You showed everyone the letter you received yesterday. Don't rescue anymore. Is this a warning? No punctuation or capitalization. Oh, what a cliche! That's what you focus on, Chie. Ain't this just a prank? The kind of stuff that only happens in the movies? Did you show this to your uncle? You guys would fucking die. Yeah, I don't I don't plan to. 
Senpai, Dojima-san is trustworthy, but it may be best to keep this to ourselves. He will ask why you received such a letter, and if he were to put you under surveillance, our hands would be tied. If this letter is real, what's most important isn't what it says. It's the fact that it was delivered to the Dojima residence, addressed directly to you. This means the culprit knows in great detail who has been interfering with his crimes. And of all of us, he chose to deliver his message to the Dojima residence, home of a police detective. I'd have this letter checked at a crime lab if I could, but even then I doubt they'd find anything. The text is a warning, while the subtext expresses the culprit's confidence that we can't use it to pinpoint his identity. Get it, Naruto. So it's useless to tell the police. In fact, that would make things worse. Cross your fingers, it's just a prank. Hey, it's probably not a prank. I think the chances of that are slim. This message is too specific, too perfect to be a prank. But how could the killer know so much about us? Could he be watching us from somewhere? Teddy's been saying for a while that when we're over there, he senses someone watching us. Wait, every time we went to the other side to rescue someone, did we end up on the Midnight Channel ourselves? Oh, no. I don't know. It seems like no one else knows what we're doing. I haven't heard any rumors about us at school. Even the people who I know check that channel haven't said anything. The only gossip I heard was about the people who disappeared. I see. Come to think of it, how the Midnight Channel works is still a mystery. Let's put aside for now the matter of what that world truly is. There's too little data to go on. For now, we need to keep in mind that the culprit knows who we are. As long as we're all aware of that, it will be enough for now. Yeah, guess there's no use thinking about stuff we can't understand. Freaking out over speculation is just what the killer wants us to do. Oh man. You told the others we'll have to wait until the situation changes. All right. Mind if I change the subject then? The culture festival's just around the corner. What's our class doing again? Oh yeah, it hasn't been decided yet, huh? I heard we'll be voting on it soon, but aren't they still gathering ideas? Whoa, I think Yosuke just got hit with a bolt of inspiration. If he says, like, Maid Cafe, I'm going to be so mad. Whatever it is, it'll be out there. I'd bet my lunch on it. Hey, Senpai. Have you decided who you'll be going around the campus with during the festival? Rise. My schedule's still wide open, you lucky guy. She just had to say something. Damn, Rise is... She's a predator. Was that warning letter a prank? Probably not, dude. However, because you have no leads, you have to wait yeah, until something happens. Rise is really on us. But why aren't you dating anyone right now? Because I'm totally available. Like, it'd be a shame if I just wrapped myself around your arm. Wouldn't it? He says over there. Friday after school, we could hang out with... I don't think we have a temperance. We do not have um, a temperance, so we shouldn't hang out with Aerie at the moment. Uh, but what we could do... Let's try and figure out... Um, hang out with Kanji on Fridays? But... Okay. 
Why don't we hang out with... Oh, no, no, no. Um, would Adachi be... Would Adachi be at the... Um, at Juness? At this point, we just need to check. <laughs> Adachi is here! Look at that. Oh. It's you. Man, you must be bored if you're still hanging around there. Uh, oh well, wanna talk? Dude. <laughs> Good for you, that's the spirit. You feel that your relationship is going to become closer soon. Uh, Adachi. Oh, welcome back. Give me the mirrors. Let's harvest the veggies. We got melons. Melon. I want to help harvest too. We've got veggies. Do you think we can grow even more? Um, wheat. And it goes. I'm excited. Am I still growing crack? I am. Dude, crack wheat is amazing. Uh, let's go to... Uh, shopping district. Should I check the shrine? Let me check the shrine. She's here again. I came to offer... Okay. My children at home are hungry. I cannot go home without something to feed them. Bruh. Bruh. She's wanting all these fish? Bruh, Yosuke, calm down. She's a fishy lady, that's for sure. Yeah, so far. Uh, she's really creepy. Talk to that guy back in the north part. Why? Just like random NPC? Your man in black is looking at you as if appraising you. Do you know what part about luminal react? Do you know about luminal reactions? What part of the body do you use to test DNA? What's the best way to obtain someone's email address? What are ten things you can you can learn from footprints? Man is bombarding you with questions for some reason. With your unmatched knowledge, you answered every challenge smoothly and easily. I see, I see. You're quite interesting, young man. Do you know Naoto Sama? Oh, or um, do you know a detective by the name of Naoto Shiragane? Correct. I do. Yes, I know you know him. Deliver this to him. He will understand. White card? Good day, then. Smells like a case. <laughs> okay. Okay. Nice. This should be rank... Nine? You now have a municipal hospital, empty hospital room. You busily cleaned the recently vacated hospital room. I feel someone watching you. Hey, you, you can stop cleaning here. We're going to be needing this room, so can you get all your cleaning supplies out of here? Is there an emergency? You're in Harris on one of the nurses just collapsed. Needs to rest, but the doctors on are on break using the lounge, so he seems overworked. Or don't tell anyone I said that, okay? I'd rather not get hauled in for a review. Here, help me. The nurse laid Sayoko down on the bed and injected her with a syringe. Uh. 
She didn't have to do that. It was just a little wobbly. Overworking right here? They're trying to get rid of me. I'm always pressuring them to do their jobs. I'm lucky they didn't tie me down with an IV. I'm alright now. I'll be going. It seems Sayako is still sad and continuing to work. What should you do? Physician, heal thyself! What? Are you- why are you acting so high and mighty? I mean, I might be able to save someone's life. I need to do what I can. I can't spend time worrying about myself. Otherwise, I'd never be able to face him again. Ah, I see. Running away. You think I'm hiding from my problem? No, I looked right into the situation decided I, that I need to do what I can. Right into it. Oh, I see. I... I was doing it for myself. I wanted to escape the pain. I was working hard to avoid feeling anything at all. I see that now. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Sayako seems to be holding back tears. I get it. Yeah, I get it. Thank, Thank you. you. Sayako tries to smile. You feel that you were able to give Sayako some support. Very nice. Let's go! I'm going to rest a little while longer. You can go now. Don't look at me. He left Sayaka and went back home. We earned money! Oh. Papas! Instead of Adidas. Uh, you overhear students talking. The Culture Festival is going to be Saturday and Sunday next week. There's a rumor that one of the classes still hasn't decided what they're going to do. Yeah, that's pretty common. They'll argue about it forever, but in the end, they'll end up with something lame like the rest, like a rest area. Only one more week left to get ready. I need to get fired up, too. Are we the one class? Are we going to end up at the rest area? It's time for our homeroom. Well, well, as you all know, next week is the Culture Festival. And as you also know, we still haven't decided what our class is going to do for it. <sighs> you guys don't care, do you? We are going to decide based on the suggestions we have so far. Please vote for one of them. Huh? Here they are. Break area, video room, and study room. Wow. Huh. Sounds like whatever we pick, we don't need to put any effort into it. Talk about lack of motivation. Yeah, but the easier the better, right? Wow. Oh, one more. Um, group date cafe. Yosuke? Hey, who put in a suggestion like that? Was it you, Chie? Yeah, right. Why would I do such a we thing? We know who it is. What's a group date cafe? Who knows? But I doubt anyone will vote for it. Our class is actually a pretty serious bunch. Yeah, it's just a joke idea. You gotta have one weird one mixed in, you know? It's gonna win. Ah, uh, figures! We'll be passing around the vote sheet. Just circle one of the suggestions. When a boy and a girl like each other. <laughs> what up, burger buns? See, let's do the group date. All right, time to count the votes. Uh, the first vote is group date cafe. Second vote, group <laughs> date cafe. Huh? Seriously? Third vote. Video room. Fourth vote. Group date cafe. Group date cafe. Group date cafe. Study room. Group date cafe. All the votes have been counted. The group date cafe is in first. Well, first place? What are we gonna do? Don't ask me! This is your fault! I do wonder though. Do all those people who voted for it realize they have to run it themselves? 
Why not? I've never been on a group date before, so I was a little curious. What the? You voted for it? Tia, you didn't? Yeah. I thought it would be sad if no one voted for it. But Yosuke's the one behind it! <laughs> hey, it wasn't just me. It came in first place. The public agrees. The pu it's what the public wants. Well, since the majority rules, we'll be doing the group date cafe. But what does that even mean? Is it like speed dating? It's it's group dating. Can we really pull this off? You'd all better pitch in on this. Yeah, Yosuke. Actually, would the teachers be okay with this? Dude, how could Kashiwagi say no? Miss Kashiwagi's busy getting ready for those two notorious pageants. Mm. I see, I see. That's why she's leaving it up to us students to decide what to do. She's, she wants to be in the pageant, yeah, I'm sure. Right. She just dumped it in our laps because she didn't want to bother. Group date cafe? Are we going to get any customers with this? Seriously, what is a group date cafe? I voted for it and I didn't even know. <laughs> Yosuke, I hope you know. Oh my gosh, how the heck's this going to turn out? I imagine that's what happens even if you vote for something else. However, because you have no leads. Okay. It's Saturday. You know what it means? It's Fox time. Fox time. Because it's, it's raining. That's why it's Fox time. Oh, woo. Fox time. Oh, shit. Should I check if uh, Naoto... Um, oh, it's raining. Like, no one does anything on rainy days. Uh, Ryan. Call the fox. <clears throat> Yes. They're so happy. Look at this boy. Oh. This is good because now we're we're keeping up with inflation on the uh um the health and SP refresh. Getting late, decided to go home. Welcome back. Thanks, Nanako. I can work as a tutor today. Uh, we do have a tower. We have coup, yeah. Let's go! Tutor! Get the money. Unless Adachi is here. Bus station. You have to do Adachi's in daytime? Ugh. You tutored Shu. Can you teach me this? With regards to question four here, why does it use this formula? You tried to explain it to him in a way that he could understand. The expression has increased. Isn't this cheesecake delicious? I bought it from an online shop that's all the rage these days. It's been the top drink store for 15 weeks straight. Just like Shucha. First place in everything. Mom! Stop it. But you're my pride and joy. What are you boy caring about Shu? Do you think you could make it into Tokyo University? I don't want him to ever have to have any hardship once he's in a good college. He's set, right? Everyone has a natural talent. Shuchan just happens to be how smart he is. I just wanted to go to a good college so he could get a good job and then buy a good house and find a good... He doesn't want that. Don't you worry about me, Mom. I'm always on top. I am right now and I always will be. That's right. He is really is the perfect child. Mister. If I get into a good college, am I really set? I don't think so. How was you? You're not even in college yet. Sne Shu sneers at you. 
I don't really need to be set just yet. I don't really know what, what that's supposed to mean anyway. This motherfucker. Well, I need to study. There's no point in asking about college unless I'm really smart. He was looking down. Raison d'etre. You know what that means? Sure I do. Hmm. Alright, so well, it makes sense since you're three grades above me. It's irrelevant. I only have mom, and the guys at school are all kids. It seems she has opened his heart to you, if only a little. A hey. Brink up. Huh, time already time's already up. We were still in the middle of the last question. We'll stay and help you. You don't have enough diligence? Okay, I guess that's the other stat we need to fucking do. So mad. We did all that basketball for nothing. Yeah, dude, I guess I just need to, you know, do envelope stuff. Hello, it's Rise. Are you bored today, Senpai? Let's hang out somewhere. Uh, he's like rank five, I think. So sure, we'll hang out with Rise. Ismiration. She looks pretty. You came here at Rise's request, as she says, as she says she likes it here. When I first got to town, I used to sit here and do nothing. I would just listen to the sound of the river, and the sound of the birds, the sound of the rain. I felt I could forget Rosette and find myself that way. Senpai, have you ever thought that you're pushing yourself too far, or that you were just acting? I have thought that, all the time. Really? <laughs> then, you, then you might be... You might even be a better actor than me. But I see, you've been through a lot too. Seems Rise is a bit relieved. I feel like I've been able to relax after coming to Inaba. Meeting all of you, laughing together, watching the store, reading comics, playing with the cat. When I was at my parents' house, I was on my best behavior around them. Oh, but Grandma doesn't ask me anything, you know, like why I quit or what I'm thinking of doing next. She just talks about tofu. She says I'm like tofu. I had to ask her what that meant. The way she explained it, tofu looks weak and fragile, but it's actually pretty resilient. Even though it stands out because it's not like any other food, it can be mixed in with a new recipe or flavor. Tofu is incredible. I'm nothing like that. Camera. I... I was actually bullied at school before I made my debut. I wasn't good at talking and always looked at my feet. I was alone the entire time. But I didn't have a problem with that. No one expected anything of me. And then, the application of my relative... Or, the application my relative sent without telling me passed the first audition. I wasn't interested in being an idol, but I wanted the chance to change myself. And just by chance, I won. When, I, when it happened, I panicked, thinking maybe I should turn their offer down. Then I thought, if I appear on TV, I can make friends. That was literally the only reason I went through with it. After a while, I realized something. The person everyone likes, the one they say hi to on the street, that's not the real me. Rosette is the one everyone likes, the fictional character they sold the public. It's the same with you, isn't it? You don't have to deny it. I won't be mad. You're you're with me right now because I'm Rosette, yeah? No, actually. I'm sorry, <laughs> that wasn't a fair question. But I'm happy you said so. Rise smiles weakly. When I got back to school after my debut, no one bullied me. I was happy at first with people I didn't even know talking to me. But they weren't suddenly interested in Rise Kujikawa. They wanted to hang out with Rosette. The bullying stopped, but I felt like none of them saw the real me. In my heart, I've always thought, this isn't the real me. Funny, huh? I was the only one who wanted to change and... But none of that matters now. I'm done being Rosette. Now I have people who know the real me. Plus, I have that power that can help everyone. I love that. This time I'm going to change into a Rise that everyone can like. Keep an eye out for her, senpai. Rise is smiling. You feel that you understand Rise even more. Oh! 
I'm so confused. Okay, we're we're good. We say it's growth of heart has affected her persona as well. <laughs> Healing wave. Ooh, not bad. Simp. I'll yeah, okay. See you, later, you just mad because I didn't date Chie. It's okay. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. Sunday evening. All right. Well, I guess it's time to get our diligence up. Uh, <laughs> Simpai. <laughs> oh, wrote that when you accept the phone call. No, that's fine. You just mad because I didn't date Chia. Chest key. I love chests. Give. You ignored chat the whole time you were talking to Reset. Well, yeah, I was talking. Not like anything happened. If the only word I saw was simp the entire time, there's no reason to read chat. <laughs> Uh, let's see, go outside. Uh, can we talk to the fox at night? I know we can't, like, accept... Uh, I'm sorry. If we can accept the thing at night, that'd be nice. But I doubt it. That lady's not here. God. My allergies are really bad. Just an old man, huh? There's Chie. Later. See you, Kiko. Now, Dachi's not here. We really need to get some of these other ones. Rank six, rank three, rank five. Um, we have a priestess, right? We do. Who did he mean? But I want to work on diligence. Let's work on diligence. Uh, actually, we should probably read that one book. To get more diligence off of, um, yeah. It's unfortunate, but two is better than three, I suppose. Monday. Hello. Good morning, Zabai. I heard from Risa san that it seems nearly everyone earned their scooter licenses over the summer. It may be interesting to know that I acquired mine around the same time. Quite a coincidence, isn't it? Let's go somewhere together. Uh, yes, I wouldn't mind doing so should the opportunity arise. I'm confident in my cycling skills, so I did doubt any trouble will rise en route. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, my dude, your boy is very diligent in reading boring shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Test results. Yeah, let's go check it out, dude. Watch this. Everyone's gonna notice me. And I'll be the Hokage.
You got the highest score. I got the highest? Fuck yeah, dude. That's awesome. I'm just as happy if I got the highest, highest grade myself. You feel like you became close to your school friends. Hell yeah. The highest. What can I say? Get hella blips, dude. Get blipped on. Blip, blip, blip. Uh, let's pick up the next fox request. Uh, the, the order of the menus really fucked me up. I kind of wish they put them on the bottom instead of the top. Marie's not outside either. <sighs> Except the Emma's request. There he is. Oh, woo! It's written in large, uneven letters. Probably by a child. God, please give me some friends. Yoshitaka. Since Fox wants you to fulfill a wish written on the Emma's behalf. Okay. I wish I had friends. The fox seems happy. Hey Shoda, let's sit next to each other, but I still want to sit with my friends. You don't like me, Shoda. So, so much that you don't even want to sit with me? Well, that's, well, no, but yeah, then that's settled. Ugh. Jesus Christ. You think the kid is in the floodplain? Okay. Well, let's go check. Hmm. What? I don't have any money. Oh, it's your money. You're not here for anything else then, right? I don't have any friends, so no one ever wants to talk to me. The voice seems sad. He said he doesn't have any friends. Perhaps he's the one who wrote the Emma request the fox showed you. Everyone talks about things they don't know about. Right now, they're all collecting stickers. I have a sticker too, but they all said everyone has that one. If I had a rare sticker, I'd bet they'd become my friends. The boy wants a rare sticker so he can make friends. Mr. Is that a sticker? If this sticker can do that, then I'm sure to make friends. Mr. Can you give me the sticker? Sure. I'm sure I have lots of friends now. Boy ran up cheerfully. Will he make lots of friends? You should ask him another time. Cool. Well, that's easy. I want to. I just want to say, like this, this particular song. Um, whenever I hear it, the uh, the bass drum um, is just. It's so good. Or the drums, I should say. If you if you ever want me to just like a song, you can always just give me a sick drum uh, part. Uh, let's go to the high school. Monday, we can't hang out with Agato. Nice. What are you, boy, son? Um, thank you for saving me. Or, I apologize, but I have something I want to think about. I don't have enough courage. I need courage. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, dude, this song is so good. Kanji. Get stats, kid. Get statted on. Do I have a magician? I do. Yo. Yes. There. Your favorite song is "Signs of Love." Signs of signs of loves, <laughs> signs of love. Why are we in my room? The fuck? You just get pretty much barged in. Mm, it's pretty clean. You keep the goods under your futon. Of course. <laughs> Why are you actually so dignified about it? All right, I'll check him out when you go to take a piss or something. I'll expose your embarrassing tastes. This kid looks like he's having fun. So you ever invited a girl in here? I haven't. <laughs> Maybe I thought you were more of a man's man than I thought. Okay. He 
you think, bro? Are you up there? Have you seen the public notice anywhere? I don't know here. Let's let her in. Bitch, I don't need your permission. Nana Kachan, are you free today? No, I'm going to Takayoshi Kun's house with Miwa chan and Yo chan. Huh? A guy's house? Um. Takayoshi Kun sits next to me. I'm going to deliver the public notice to him. Miwa chan says she's going with me because she likes Takayoshi Kun. She likes him? <sighs> Man, kids sure are mature these days. Well, my first love was in first grade, too. Uh, I've always been ahead of my time. Uh huh. Well, I don't really need that in my life right now. This is just not the time. I have something I need to do before that can happen. Homework? Yeah. Well, well maybe it is. You're smart, Nanako chan. Nanako left for her friend's house. <clears throat> Bro, when are we gonna suffer through Yokiko's cooking? Dude. It's suffering anymore. There was actually texture last time, I think. Nanako chan called it homework. Catching the killer and during ending the murders, bringing peace to the town. Only we can do it, huh? Let's hang in there. I'm counting on you. Yes, Kate, do we have to keep talking about the murders? I guess he's stuck with his senpai. Um, so I guess that's that makes sense. Oh, so did the notice reach you yet? The one about joining the Young Men's Association? Huh? They were talking about having some kind of event to boost the economy. Junez is involved with it, so they're going to try to rope me in. I don't have time for that. I told them that I was busy, but they keep dogging me. I don't care about the Young Men's Association or boosting the economy. No excuse size. Mm. Alright, time to take a peek under the futon. <laughs> you talking with Yosuke about different things. See you later. It's gotten dark, so you say goodbye to Yosuke. I bet it's gonna be something stupid. Like, in order to start Naruto's Link, I have to, like, have everything maxed out. I wouldn't doubt it. Office work manual! I really don't want to fucking read this. You're not diligent enough for me, senpai. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, your boy son. This rain, I don't like it. No one has turned up missing yet, but it still makes me uneasy. Yo! Try to barge in. Yosuke forced himself under your umbrella. Make room for me, too. This one's already full, dumbass. Get now to to make some room under hers. It's quite all right. By all means, Kanjikin. You'll catch a cold at this rate if you don't. Put me and her under the same umbrella? <laughs> <laughs> the hell that. If I did that, um, it'd mean we'd practically be like a couple. And that's the problem because, dude, how old are you? Shut up. Come on, let's trade spots. You know how stupid that sounds, right? Well, that's fine with me now. Mind if I walk with you? Hey! Hey, who could you call on stupid? Stop talking shit about me. <laughs> Will you just make up your mind? Excuse me. I don't mind making room for whoever. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. I think Kanji and Naruto are a great couple. Huh? But why? Because it's obviously the best solution. You're too damn big. It'd be a tight fit under your boy's umbrella. Naruto's perfect for you. Huh? Perfect? Me and Naruto are perfect? Ah, damn it. I don't need an umbrella in this damn drizzle like this. I'll show you all how it's done. Kanji kun? <laughs> she said he's gonna make himself sick. Oh crap, we're gonna be late if we, if we keep this nonsense up. Let's hurry up. Kanji is too shy for his own good. Uh, but he, Kanji is best boy. Hands down. However, because you have no leads, you have no choice but to wait until something occurs. Save. I bet we can't fucking talk to that kid. Unfortunate. If we started just a day earlier, maybe that would have been that would have been it, right? <clears throat> Courage.
is right there. And with the teachers down over here. Your boy Coon, I saw the results of the midterms. I'm so proud of you. Here's something nice as a reward. Gecko uniform. There was a little slip up and I only have the male version. I look forward to how well you do on your later exams too. Okay. Whatever you say. I made this in my chemistry class. Try it out. Muscle drink. Ooh. Ooh. Um, let's go into town. I doubt a dodge is here. Um, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, go. I don't. I don't think that kid's there. But he was like right by the fucking entrance. Um, it's raining. Why don't we do the uh the challenge? Oh, actually, courage. Well, we get courage anyway. We need courage and understanding, so we get it both from. Um, Aya and from going to the beach. We'll just go to Aya. Does, does Aya not give me diligence? I thought both went up. What, do you need something? That case, I wonder how it's going. If you know, can you please tell me? I can't help but think about it. I said understanding. Oh, no, I have understanding maxed out. <clears throat> oh, understanding, yeah, because I get understanding from the beach. That's right. I need diligence. No, yeah, you, you're good. I misspoke. Let's fucking go at it. <laughs> So let's get what do, we, what do we get? Knowledge, courage. Okay. Nice. All right. So now we just need to get diligence up. Well, that's easy to do. Or easier to do. You're back. We're just full of food. I can work as a tutor today. Keeping up your studies while taking care of Nanako too? You're one hard worker, aren't, aren't you? I need to act like an uncle every every so often and give you some spending money. Here you go, a big tip. But don't spend it all, yeah, okay. My boy, 50,000, holy shit. Why am I going out? Oh, for tutoring, yeah. <laughs> Because what else are we going to do? I won't deepen just yet. That's fine. <laughs> Sugar Daddy Dojima. I can cook for my school friends, but I did not. Wednesday. Good morning, your boy Ken. The culture festival is just around the corner. Let's all do our best to prepare for it. Do you look forward to it? It's been nothing but bad news all year, hasn't it? It's during times like this we have to make up for it. Oh, I'm not interested in the blind date part, understand? I I'm not, okay? She's interested in it. She's definitely interested in the blind date. Today I'll talk about the history of food. It'll be a nice change. Among food history, one of the most interesting is the history of French cuisine. Now, French cuisine is representative of European food, but it actually stems from Italian food. A noble Italian girl married the French king in, six, in the 16th century, and that's when it crossed over, among other things. Like the fork. I can't imagine eating some things without a fork today. It said that before the fork was introduced, everyone in France ate their, with their hands or just a knife. So modern French cuisine, with its strict manners now, has its roots in Italian cuisine. How about that? Wasn't it interesting to see world history through the lens of food? Yes, thank you, Mrs. Sofue. Sofue! 
Was it Sofwi? Uh, Kanji, my dude. Senpai. Yes, I am free today. Yeah. <laughs> I'll meet, I'm gonna meet it with that kid again. Catch you later. Kanji, my dude. Kanji is amazing. Oh my god, what floodplain? Uh, it seems Kanji called the boy here. Here. Kanji placed a bunch of knit dolls on the table, each one with different clothing and accessories. They're very elaborate. I can have these? Yeah, if you don't need them, I guess you could just toss. Thank you. Oh yeah, Mom said. You should at least be paid for the material. She gave me some money. I said I don't need it. I look like I look I look like I'm in this for the money to you. Mister, you're from Tatsumi Textiles, right? Oh, I'm nothing. Oh, big bro. Nanako! Oh. Dolls, these are so cute. What are these? Uh well, this man made them. Amazing. You're really good. <sighs> he looked straight at me when he said this man. Uh, hey, Nanako-chan. Don't go around telling everyone, okay? It's kind of embarrassing. Why? I think it's cool when you can make things like this. I want to learn how to make them too. Oh, well, maybe, maybe next time. Is that okay with you, big bro? I want to learn too. The hell? Teach you? I ain't that good at teaching. His face is thoroughly red. Oh, we got him. Oh, I was on my way to Emichan's house. Teach me next time. Bye. I'm going to show these to mom. Thank you, mister. Senpai. I think I kind of understand now. A little, anyway. About what strength really means. I used to think it was doing what needed to be done. Like a man. So I thought, for me, that was catching this damn killer. And I mean, that's important too, but... There's something else I gotta confront too, ain't there? Your weak heart. My weak heart. When I met the other me in the TV world, I really hated knowing it was me. I thought I should change, but now I feel like I haven't changed a bit. So I started to panic. Kanji is muttering to himself. It ain't that easy to become strong, is it? Kanji is looking far into the distance with a relieved look on his face. His face shines with a gentleness you've never seen before from him. Rank seven, boy. Taking off. Mom saw the stuff I made. She's been hassling me about selling them at the shop. The hell's a textile shop gonna do with stuff that's already been knit? Despite his words, Kanji seems happily embarrassed. Later. You parted with Kanji and went home. Hang on a goal. Thank you. Work as a janitor today. Work as a janitor. Well, that'd be rank 10 though, right? Okay. Yeah, let's max that out. Ah. Uh. God, every fucking time. Go out. Hopping district. <laughs> We're gonna be a chaos boy. Owls boy. Cheat. Cheat. <laughs> Hold on, is it even gonna go up? Okay. We're gonna hang out with Dachi. Oh. Hey, it's you. Great. A student who parties at night. I'm so exhausted from work. I had to talk to that old lady again. I'm hungry. Yes. Huh? What? Uh, oh, I guess we talked about that the other day. Um, yeah, why not? I hear you're quite the cook. You headed to the Dojima res residence with Adachi. I have a real hard time getting the right options with him.
Alright, you bought Dungeon Residence, you brought Adachi here for dinner. Big bro! Potatoes are still hungry. Today we're having shoe. Shoe oh you mean stew. Yeah, shoe stew. Oh hey you did it. Do you like stew, Adachi san? Yeah, kind of. Kind of? Uh, I mean, yeah, I do like it. It's been a while since I had some. So do you cook like this all the time? I think the English son tells you all the time what a great help you are. Yeah, he does. I think my lip's bleeding. Really? <laughs> he doesn't seem like the type to come out and say it. Dachi shrugs. So I heard you were moving back into the spring. I, I bet Dojima son is going to cry. Nanako is looking down, sadly. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. That's still a long way away. Yeah. Um, um hey Nanako, have you ever seen this trick? Dachi produced a 500 yen coin. Watch cl closely. Dachi clutches the 500 yen coin. You watching? 500 yen coin disappeared. Oh. What? How? Why? Do it again! Do it again! Nah, this time I'll show you even a better one. Look in your big bro's pocket. 500 yen coin within your pocket! Oh, oh you're the best, Adachi san. Oh my god! Like magic tricks? <laughs> Not particularly, I'm just good with my hands. Stuff like this comes easy to me. Adachi seems relieved that Nanako is smiling again. Maybe I should have been a magician, then I wouldn't be in such a... Uh. Well, I guess there's no job like a government job. It's not like I can make a living working with my hands. Adachi shrug. You feel like you know Adachi a bit more. Yeah, almost like a gesture. Yeah, yeah. Rank four. Hmm. That's smelling pretty good. I think the shoe is about ready. It's stew! Tiatsu? Stew! <laughs> Wrong. No, I said it right. <laughs> Three of you spent a fun evening together. That's adorable. Hidachi's like a big brother, too. Yo! Yo, ya boy. Hey, what kind of event did classes at your old school do during culture festivals? The school here in Nava has a bunch of different events for our culture fe culture festival. That really fucked me up. <clears throat> I guess this is one of the few school events that everyone actually looks forward to. I'm looking forward to it. I hope it gets really interesting, especially for some events in particular. There's a headline written in large letters on the bulletin board. The Miss Yasugami High Pageant. It seems to be announcing a beauty pageant that will take place during the culture festival. Ugh, Ugh. on top of planning it, Kashiwagi's gonna be in it? That seems so like that's a... that's why she agreed to plan this event. That seems like it's gonna be a... fix, right? Or a conflict of interest? The name Noriko Kashiwagi is indeed on the entry list. The other contestants are. We see a lot of familiar names. Yukiko Amagi, Chie Satanaka, Rise Kujikawa, Anjo Shiragane, Hanako Otani. A surprising lineup. One, two, wow. Oh, no. There's a lot of signups here. I'm surprised so many people took an interest. Whoa, Rise Kujikawa? Seriously? Oh man, trust a celebrity to kill the fun of it all. Yeah, I feel like Kashiwagi joined so that she could prove a point. I bet she'll draw a huge crowd. Wow, Yukiko-san's finally entering. If this was any other year, she'd win for sure. Now she's up against Rosette. It's gonna be a culture festival to remember. <laughs> Actually? <laughs> Rosette's entering? She's gonna take part in something like this? Maybe I better think more seriously about saving a seat. Look, Chie's entering too. She's actually pretty close to my type. Actually, I hear she has a lot of secret admirers. 
Naoto's that boyish, girlish, whatever, right? You know, she's uh, pretty <laughs> cute. Uh, uh. Okay. No, get out. Dude, you sound like a pervo when you laugh like that. But uh. to be honest, I think she's cute too. <laughs> It seems that each girl already has fans. Yo. Yo. Are you free for lunch? I don't know why, but Chie asked us to come to the roof. Hard to vote for her, maybe? Nah, she doesn't she seem like the type to do serious. that. pretty serious. I wonder if something's happened. Oh, and Kanji's coming, too. You were called out to the rooftop during lunch. Did something happen? The guys in our group? Hmm. Hmm. For what? The beauty pageant! You wrote down our names without telling us, didn't you? N no, it wasn't me. Why do you automatically blame me? Was it Rise? I mean, if you don't want to do it, you just say no, right? Like it was just a joke. Oh, he did it. We wouldn't be so pissed if we could do that! With Kashiwagi planning this year's event, even those who got entered by other people can't back Damn, she's like Seriously? loud. Must have been something in the fine print I overlooked. So it was you! What a piece of shit. Oh crap! Hey, do you want us to take part in the beauty pageant? Well, yeah. I mean, you guys know how popular Yukiko is here. And on top of that, we have an idol. Nothing about Chie, though. What's the point of having a beauty pageant if all these incredible heroines aren't going to take part? So where do I fit in? Oh. Well, excuse me for not fitting in! Damn, Chie. Hey, you want them to be in it too, don't you, Kanji? Huh? I ain't interested in that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Naoto-kun, Kanji-kun says that he really wants you to be in it. What? I, I, I didn't say nothing. <laughs> what about you? You want them to be in it, right? Um, enter the pageant, damn it. <laughs> of course I do. Ah, uh, I thought you might be a little jealous, not wanting me to show off to other guys, but I guess you're not that uptight. What? Rise? Hold on. Hold on. Hey, you guys are inching onto the bandwagon with Yosuke, aren't you? We say, I don't think we're like that, are we? So long as there are people looking forward to seeing me, I might as well put on a show for them. Jesus Christ. Of course, there's no need to involve my agency in this. That's right. That's the way to go. Teddy's looking forward to it, too. I bet you Teddy's gonna try and enter the pageant. Actually, I think he was more excited than anyone. It was him who was pushing me to sign you all up. Yes, Kate's trying to just fucking push it off. So Ted's behind this too. We're in an awkward position. If we can't refuse, Kate, I Teddy, there's yeah. No sense in arguing the point. But it seems ill-fitting for someone like me to get up on stage. I wonder if there's any way I could take it up with the school authorities. Oh, shit. Uh, I don't think it's a problem at all. You tell her. I mean, just do it. You know, seriously. Dude, looks <laughs> like your blood's boiling even more than usual. <laughs> Silly Kanji. Just tell her you want to see her on the stage. So, is it a deal? The four of us will be in the beauty pageant? So adorable, dude. What are you saying? <laughs> um... I beg you, please be in it. If you do, my uh, doubts will finally be cleared. Come on, make me a man. Doubts? <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, dude, yes. Look, just, just do it, damn it! I mean, I mean you're an ace detective, aren't you? What does that have to do with a beauty pageant? He's really trying. He's trying so hard. Oh, Kanji, I salute you. Uh, the preparations for the culture festival in two days are going well. We're back. I'm so tired. 
Where'd you guys go? Over to Jeunesse. We had to go get some paint and cloth. Oh, for the decorations. <laughs> Thank you. Did you have them write you an invoice? Yeah, I think they understood what it was for, so they wrote it without us having to ask. There's some things I want to go over about the day of the event. Is this about the group date cafe? That's what we're doing, right? Yes, since Yosuke is leading the executive committee. Wait, what? You suggested it, you dumbass. That was your proposal, right? Are you serious? Yeah. Well, all you have to do is the reception. After people sign in, have a few guys and girls sit facing each other at a table, conduct a short session first where they ask each other questions. After about half an hour of that, it'll be confession time. Get them to select the number of the person they like. If the other person accepts, that makes them a couple. Hey, Yosuke, you listening? <sighs> yeah, I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if we roll up this bit of cloth, won't it kind of be like a ball? Yeah, okay, I'll be the catcher. These motherfuckers. The catcher? <laughs> hey, Yosuke, wanna be the batter? <sighs> yeah, milk class rep is... Uh, I don't give a damn Making Yosuke I mean, own up. Watch me slam that ball right back in your face. <laughs> hey, you guys better get serious about this. Yeah. They're all just running away. <laughs> the group date cafe that your class will be running at the culture festival is getting underway. Oh, you know what we should have done? Fuck. We need to, we need to find the talks of the kid. Welcome back. Work as a tutor today. I can work. I can work as a janitor today. Oh, it's about time. Are you guys ready? If you know, you know. If you don't, well, you'll learn. They look good. Veggies are ready. Great vegetables. Great vegetables. See where your hard work gets you. We, we really need to, uh, uh, we need to max out Sayoko. It's been a while since I last did anything like this. You planted a cabbage seed. I'm excited to see them come in. Hmm, I hope tons of veggies grow. I hope so too. Great vegetables. Make sure everything's okay. Renee's supposed to be coming back into town. Uh, we're gonna go... What if Badachi is here? What if, what if he's there? But he's not. Our courage is maxed, so maybe we can figure out what the fuck... What's happening here? Is it gonna go up? Nice. Rank 10 next time. <laughs> it's Friday. Do we get the afternoon? Probably not. You can see a headline in large letters on the bulletin board. The Miss Yasugami High Pageant. It seems that a cross-dressing pageant is also going to be held at the Culture Festival. Hey, it's Yosuke. We're expecting great things from you. Ha <laughs> ha ha! Get fucked. <laughs> They're doing the cross-dressing pageant again this year? Man, they never learn, do they? Ooh, some people have signed up already. <laughs> Man, what idiots would want to be in this thing? Get fucked, see, Yosuke. Yosuke Hanamura... ME?! Wait, and Kanji Tatsumi? You're on here too! Uh, I figured. <laughs> yeah, boy, my dude. That's your name, alright. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of contestants. Didn't we only get, like, two people last year? 
I heard There's this vets? year, even if someone else signs you up, you can't back out. Well, that's not cool. Hey, but what if they did sign themselves up? Ew, what a disturbing thought. Seriously, well, that's, that's rude. Really wrong. Jesus Christ. Someone else signs you up? It's them. They must have done this. It's getting back at you, dude. It seems that you'll have to enter the cross-dressing pageant at the Culture Festival. She's a disinterested student. Yeah, she is. You better have a damn good explanation. You know this. damn well what it is. For what? For what, my ass? For signing us all up in the cross-dressing pageant. It was you, wasn't it? <laughs> the student just walks away. Oh, that thing. Risei-chan started saying, let's all have fun with this. So I didn't really have a choice. And Kashiwagi <laughs> seems happy too now that there's more people involved in it. All right. Thanks, Jeff, for stopping by. Appreciate it. You little... This is cross-dressing. Cross-dressing! Hmm. Well, you're the one who started it. Yeah. It's because of you that we can't back out of the beauty pageant, so it serves you right. That's beside the point. Don't worry. We'll make you absolutely <laughs> enchanting. Dude, I'm, I am going to win. All right. That's, That's my goal. That's not what's important here. It's about a man's pride, damn it. I'll give it my all. Whoa. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, this has nothing to do with pride or any of that. You know already, right? Once someone signs you up, you can't back out. You just own it and you and go with it, dude. That, go talk to Ms. Kashiwagi. That's all you gotta do. There's no way she's gonna listen. Why are you giving up? I ain't doing this, period. Kanji-kun, are you still okay as far as the mandatory attendance policy? <laughs> I don't think it would be wise to disappoint a teacher too much. You are a scary gal. You know that, senpai? <laughs> Just leave it to us to dress you guys up. Risa-chan's with us, too. There's no way you won't turn out pretty. You, you're positive we'll be pretty? Hanji will be the best. It. I'm sure. <laughs> Hey, why are you suddenly fine with this? Well, if we got to do this, might as well go all the way with it. That's what I'm saying. There's nothing manly about being a woman. I words, Yosuke. Refuse. I do not approve of words. Kashiwagi's sure going to get angry if you don't show up. Maybe you and Kanji-kun can be classmates next year. <laughs> Why is this happening? Because karma, dude. We all end up in the same boat without our consent. What kind of joke is this? Y you re uh, the exact yeah. same joke you pulled. You fucking out? deserve this shit. <laughs> if we gotta do this, might as well go all the way with it. <laughs> I have no sympathy for Yosuke ever. He's such a piece of shit. <clears throat> oh, welcome back. Thanks, Nanako. We can't really do anything this evening. Actually, no, it's Friday. We can... Can we work? Oh, I see. We, we have the suggestion that we can go outside, but we can't go outside. The culture festival finally begins today. You wonder if the class project will be a success. You should hurry to school. My allergies are killing me. <laughs> Damn, this looks nice. Class booth, group date cafe. <laughs> no one is stopping by. Come in for a first-hand experience with group dating. Oh, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> There's not that many people passing by here in the first place. Yeah. 
I think we need some shills to drum up interest. Shills? Uh, who? Our group. Who else is here besides us? Isn't that kind of sad? Do we have a choice? We need customers to get the ball rolling. If there aren't many people passing by, we have to get the attention of the ones who are by any means necessary. But there's only five of us here. Yo, how's it going? Hell I'm yeah. i to check up on you... guys. Perfect timing! Oh no, Kanji run! But now we've got four guys and two girls. Mm. Eh, you guys are cross-dressing tomorrow anyways. Why don't you can sit on the girl's side? <laughs> what? I'm not gonna... Boldly sit in the girl's area? Dude, fuck yeah. If no one else is gonna do it, I'll do it. Oh, you're volunteering? You never run out of surprises, man. What's wrong with that? Well, let's get started. Mm. Uh, do I have to do everything? Uh, you guys can start now. Uh, will someone please start? <sighs> the silence is heavy. Did you try asking a question as if you were a girl? What kind of girl do you like? Man, he's really getting into this. What's wrong? Would you want it just to be awkward? Actually, what the hell is this? A mock group date? Um... Should I lead off? I guess I'd like a cute girl. <laughs> well, for me, um, I guess a girl that's <laughs> kind and sort of fragile, you know, someone I'd want to protect. Um, man, this is, uh, um, yeah. Yeah, you wanted this. Uh, hey, your turn, Kanji. Uh, well, I... I guess someone who's kind of mysterious and uh, looks strong, but actually kind of. <laughs> yeah, I really wonder who you're talking about. It's adorable. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, out of the three of us here, who would you date? Hey, I object to this line of questioning. Oh, don't worry. All right, let's start with you, Chiesan. You feel like she is looking over to you, over at you. Could she be signaling you to help her? Uh, me? Uh, who would I choose to date? Well, th that's private. <laughs> Isn't it? Tio gave you a wink of thanks. Okay. You're Did I say Chio? Chie. Who would I want to date? Relief. <laughs> this is a horrible idea. The silence is heavy. Senpai, how are you doing? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> is she gonna back Hello? out? Yeah. <laughs> Market. The group date cafe is officially a failure. <laughs> the first date of the culture festival ended on a strange note. You decided to at least to walk around the school a bit before going home. It was perfect. I did my role admirably. That's a gummy high hallway. You can't say I didn't. Now the class is exhibiting a collection of local artifacts. I wish ours was doing something this cool. We're doing a freaking play, man. What's up with that? Too late to complain, Piglet. <laughs> it's not Piglet, it's Hamlet. How'd I get stuck with that role anyway? And who the hell came up with this play? Romeo and Juliet and Hamlet. Dude. 
Until that, dude. Tomorrow's gonna be way more exciting, right, ya boy? <laughs> for sure, I'm gonna be rooting for you in that beauty contest. We're in first place or bust. You had fun with Ko and Daisuke. <laughs> oh, I'm good to I'm, I get to hang out with everyone. The long-nosed fortune teller? Oh, come on. Who'd believe crap like this? <laughs> Is that Margaret? You're a confident one. Uh... Maybe you are pretty good. Want to challenge me? I bet you can't win. Overestimating your competence will only work against you, miss. I'll take that as your acceptance. I challenge you to read one fortune, no time limit. If I win, which I will, I'm going to destroy this stand. The subject of this little contest is your boy's relationship with girls. Well, if that's the case, I certainly have the advantage. What does that mean? You share a stirring moment with I. <laughs> You, t you toured cl the culture festival with your friends. Nice. Welcome back. Do I not get to, uh... Take hey, Donico? Ah, buddy. But it's Saturday and Sunday, so... That's okay. Uh, second day of the culture festival at a classroom before the contest begins. Why are you guys just standing there? Come on, hurry up and sit down! Come on, Kanji-kun! Over here! Kanji-kun? <laughs> Don't worry. I won't hurt you. <laughs> the cross-dressing pageant will begin soon. It looks like you'll you'll have to give up and let Yukiko apply makeup on you. What about me? You're it not in turns there. out I'm entering this too. I must win this contest to see my dream realized. No, that will help you. He seemed bored, so we signed him up as a last-minute contestant. So you're making him suffer too, huh? Well, if Why he's not? been signed up, there's nothing we can do about it. Now, Tokun, can you lend us a hand? We'll leave Teddy to you. Me. The Nauto Teddy team's unstoppable. Teddy is adorable. Well, then, uh... We'll say that. First, I need some dazzling makeup. You're right. Then I'll go borrow a makeup kit from someone. Wait! The battle begins by choosing the right equipment! <laughs> <laughs> we gotta use fake eyelashes, right? Y yeah, bring it on! I hope I look stunning. <laughs> so it begins. Ladies and gentlemen! What a voice! We now begin the second day of the Culture Festival with the ever-popular Miss Yasugami Pageant! Let's get right down to it and introduce our first contestant! She's a runaway express train who's in a born and bred and can kill with both her fists and her looks. Yeah. Presenting. Oh, oh this is the. Okay, I see now. Sup? <laughs> he looks good. This is wrong on every level. <laughs> Kanji, you're great. Don't rip me apart for asking, but what would you say is your best feature? My eyes. Wow, a conventional answer from this all too unconventional beauty. Dude, Kanji's best part is his personality. Long start. I don't know how much of a chance the others have, but here's our second contestant, an eloquent heiress of the noble Juness. She's pure disappointment from the moment she opened her mouth. 
Presenting Yosuke-chan of the Second Year Class 2! Hi! <laughs> Holy crap! And here I thought Yosuke-senpai would be able to pull it off. Dude, it's terrifying. I can just imagine someone like him sitting across from me on a train. Get fucked, kid. Now, you look ready to win in that outfit. Do you often dress like this? Hell no! Uh... <clears throat> like, no way! <laughs> what is with this? The stocks up here. What did you think this was about? I've already had about enough of this, but there's still more to come! Up next, our third contestant! She has the mildly bitter tang of the city, and she's made more girls cry than there are stars in the sky! Presenting our transfer student who's been breaking hearts in this second year, Class 2! Hell yeah! No more! Senpai! Why are you doing this? Whoa. I thought he was cooler than that. Sounds like your entrance is causing quite a stir. <laughs> Did you sign yourself up? Do I say damn straight? I feel like at this point I should own it, you know? Let's see. A girl I like entered me? Ooh. I don't want to say this one. Commit? Damn straight. Wow, he was more gung-ho about this than Kanji. Damn that Kashiwagi. How dare she tear away our innocence like this! Bruh. Now I'm scarred for life, damn it! Our last contestant is a random, unaffiliated entrant. She's a friend of our other beauties. Calling herself king of the TV world, she's a cute, sexy little number. Give a warm welcome to Teddy Chan! Damn, Teddy, Give Teddy won. Hearts. That's a boy? He's so cute! <laughs> I'd hit it. What? Sir? Sir, these are high school students. The votes have been collected. Teddy won. And the winner of this year's Miss Yasugami pageant is... Most definitely Teddy. Teddy committed way harder. As our champion, Miss Teddy will receive a very special prize. Later this afternoon, we will be hosting the Miss Yasugami pageant with actual beauties this time. Oh, that's rude as fuck. Your reward is a position as an honorary judge in that pageant. Woohoo! An honorary judge? That's one lame prize for what you gotta go through. Yes, Kay, you look fantastic. Not everyone can get that excited over a judge position. <laughs> Seeing him so happy kind of makes me happy, too. Yeah, he's like over the top innocent. <laughs> well then, Miss Teddy, how does it feel to have won the pageant and become a judge? <laughs> the long awaited day has finally come. I decree that one of the judging criteria later this afternoon will be... Ta-da! A swimsuit competition! My guy. What the hell? Over my dead body? Aw, I didn't bring a swimsuit. That bear needs to be disappeared. <laughs> well, I doubt he has the authority to declare that unilaterally. <laughs> this is great. I love the direction this is going. If she wears a super skimpy one, I'm going to be kind of concerned. Uh, you change back into your uniform and return to the hall. Obtain drag costume. Yes, sweetie. 
Later that day in the beauty pageant dressing room. <clears throat> Dress yourselves up as well as you can, you little brats. What is she, the rival woman on a soap opera? Wait, is Kashiwagi serious about winning this? She's right there. Mr. Teddy dropped this off. He said that they're swimsuits. Hey, we don't need them! <laughs> my mature charms will win the day. I brought my own swimsuit, of course. It's probably super risky. I brought my own, too. Uh-oh. What's with these people? Hey, let's let's not do this. What's that? Getting cold feet? Wise of you to back out of a fight you can't win. You call yourself an idol, but you're just jailbait with no brains, no guts, and especially no figure. What? There's no way their type would be crowned Miss Inaba. Why not just let them back out? <laughs> You think you're gonna take the crown? Women are you vicious. Snoring pig! <laughs> snoring? What are you talking about? Your face is as foul as your mouth, and your brain's as rotten to boot. Jesus Christ. I went through hell because of you! That's it! Now I'm pissed! Oh, you're going to challenge me? It's useless. Don't waste your energy. Let this be a warning to the others, too. Ugh. <laughs> You're going to lose. Now's your last chance to run away. Her confidence is, like, astronomical. Run away? Why the hell would we run from someone like you? Well, we did kind of run away last time. That's what I'm saying! We gotta stand our ground and get our revenge for that! How can we cower and hide when they're picking a fight? Yeah. Yeah. Right, Reese Chan. Now, Jokun, we won't run from this, right? Huh? Me too? Why are you letting yourself be so easily provoked? There's no way. Absolutely no way that I'm wearing a swimsuit. You're not going anywhere. Oh shit. Oh shit. You decided to watch the beauty pageant together with Yosuke and Kanji. But that's not all for the Culture Festival's main event. There's still more to come in the Miss Yasagami pageant. The judging continues. Can you hear the crowd going wild? Now for our next contestant, Miss J. Sasanaka of the second year's class two. Come on out, J. from class two, Miss Yukiko Amagi! Hello, my name is Yukiko Amagi. Um, my family runs the Amagi Inn. If you ever find yourself in the area, please give us a visit. Our hot springs are open to the public year-round. This is what she gives in the introduction. To enjoy them, please drop by. Next up, a very familiar face from the first year class two, Miss Rise Kujikawa. Hi, hi, my name's Rise Kujikawa. I haven't been in town very long, but it's a great place, and I'm 100% thrilled to be here. 
when it when it like stops like that, I'm like, oh, okay, it's just not voice. But the game does these weird like load freezes. So sorry that I'm not working as an idol right now. Rosette's gonna do her best, so I hope you'll all cheer for me. The real Rosette, ladies and gentlemen, in the flesh. Oh, thank you very much. Jesus, calm down, dude. Next is the mysterious transfer student of the first year's class one, Miss Noto Shirogane! Hey, Kanji, here she comes. Hey, shh, pipe down. <laughs> I, I'm Naoto Shirogane. It's hard to believe I'm up on a stage at a pageant like this. This is beyond my wildest imaginings. I, I really don't know what to say. <laughs> Can I step back now? Whoa. <laughs> Kanji, whoa. <laughs> and with that, all six uniquely beautiful contestants are stage now let's have our special judge mr. Teddy ask them some questions <clears throat> I am Teddy the honorary judge for this pageant please keep in mind that if you anger me you will be at a disadvantage well uh, miss Chie do you have a boyfriend you. Ms. Yukiko, have you ever smooched anyone before? Huh? Stop it! Ms. Naoto, where are you ticklish? I beg your pardon? Can I stay at your house next time, Risei-chan? What kind of a question is that? <laughs> Anyways, I have a surprise announcement for you all. Wait till you hear this. For the first time ever, this year's pageant will feature a swimsuit competition. Oh, no. And it's all thanks to Mr. Teddy here. We'll take a brief break while our contestants put on their swimsuits and be back in just a few moments. This can end really badly. Oh, dear God. Oh, she's really cute. <laughs> Ooh. You sound like a dirty old man. Chie Senpai is cute, though. Uh, I'm sorry. Why, why is she sorry? Oh, what? This is great! Shut up, Yosuke. Oh. Yukiko-senpai. She is exactly how I imagined she'd be. Kanji is great with words here. Yoo-hoo! Here's Rosette! She's so gorgeous. Huh? Huh? Is she? Huh? <laughs> Miss Naoto? She's not coming out. Well, sad news, everyone, but Miss Naoto won't be coming out for this portion. Fine by me. The fewer rivals I have to crush, the better. Oh, well, I had a feeling that would happen. Too bad, Kanji. Huh? Uh, no, um... Well, yeah. <laughs> Don't you think it was brave of her to at least show up in the first round? Yeah, you're right. Well, it's about time we voted. Who are you going for? Oh, shit. Um, who looks the cutest, right? I think, well, how do you know what Naruto looks like? Um... I honestly think Yukiko looks the cutest. Oh man, wasn't it awesome seeing Yukiko up on stage wearing a swimsuit? So different from her usual self. That's, this is not the words I would use, Yosuke. Jesus Christ. 
Thanks for waiting, everyone. The results are in. Looking at the way the vote went, you guys out in the audience had a hard time picking a favorite. I swear to God, if it's Hanukkah. Lots of different opinions with every one of our contestants having their own enthusiastic supporters. On the other hand, it looks like you girls were all thinking the same thing. And so, there's a clear winner! Grand prize goes to... Miss Nauto! Nauto? Oh, shit. Her androgynous charm seems to have won most of the girls' hearts. We'd like to present Miss Nauto with her award now, but... It looks like she stepped outside. She won, even though she dropped out of the last part. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> Eat shit, Kashiwagi. Man, losing to Naoto. Well, I guess I didn't appeal to the girls that much. Oh well. I think it's enough that we beat those two hands down, senpai. <laughs> Damn, she's pissed. <laughs> Miss Kachiwaki, <laughs> I can't believe this. I'm good. No, neither can I. Oh, no, go. Miss Kachiwaki. <laughs> oh, no. Miss Yasugami High Pageant has come to an end. But where was Naoto? Oh, big bro! Ah, good thing we found you. I've got to make a business trip to the prefectural office, and I won't be back until tomorrow. Shame it had to fall during your school's culture festival. Nanako and I were both looking forward to it. Sorry to dump this on you, but... Could you show Nanako around? Of course we can. Would you like to walk around with us, Nanako-chan? <laughs> can I? Of course. Thanks. Then I'm gonna get going. Have a safe trip! Yeah. You have fun too, Nanako. Okay, Dad. Oh, my heart. Oh, that texture, hey, though. Monica chan why don't you come over and stay at my place tonight? Huh? 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 What did you just say, Yuki-chan? Ooh, a celebration at your inn? Is that okay with you? Uh-huh. I promised you guys a while Oh, ago, shit. So, yeah. Nice. Okay. Hell yeah. I'm down. Can I boil eggs in the hot springs? Eddie, please don't. Oh, I should call my grandpa and let him know. It's just one night, right? Grandpa. Come on, it'll be fun. Everyone will be there. Can I? Let's go. I want to spend the night. He's adorable. <laughs> Hot springs, Yukata. Flushed skins. Are you sure it's okay? I mean, isn't it still the busy season? We've had fewer visitors this year. There are some open rooms, too. Oh, okay. Might as well, then. Nice. Man, when was the last time I stayed at Yukiko's place? As long as there's no hot spring minigame again, it, it'll be fine. Everyone will be staying at the Imagi Inn tonight. A room at the Imagi Inn. Oh, we're in different rooms. Of course we are, Teddy. Oh, duh. It's one thing if they were next door, but they're so far away. Yukiko said there weren't that many open rooms, so they're up on another floor. First thing they're going to do is take Nanako-chan to the hot springs. Adorable. <laughs> is it one of those girls and guys together springs? Really, Teddy? Is that I don't want to take more than one bath if I don't have to. Why don't we take a dip before we hit the sack? Yeah. 
By the way, what's up with this room? It looks it's pretty old. expensive. Yeah. Old's oh, not probably not so the right too. word here. Normally a room like this wouldn't be open during the busy season. I was trying not to think about it, but you don't think something happened here, do you? Senpai? What are you all quiet about? Now that you mention it... The phone is ringing. Jeez, that freaked me out. You answer it, Kanji. What are you freaking out for? Kanji's hands are shaking. Hello? And there was nobody oh, there. Cool, thanks. That was the front desk. Said the hot springs should be pretty empty right now. Wow, I'm Aggie in. Great service. I broke out I hate cold phone calls. Sweat. Oh, come on then. Let's go wash it off. Hell yeah. I can't wait to take a bath with everyone. We'll all face the same way and wash each other's backs. And we're gonna sing songs while looking at Mount Fuji, right? Is that what happens? That's bathhouse. Man, everything on this side <laughs> is so fun. And he's so adorable. It's all thanks to you for bringing people over to my side. Thank you, Sensei. Teddy is gazing at you in gratitude. Damn, dude, already? Rank 8 with Teddy? Your power to create is power. Blah, 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 blah. Summer Rakarm already? Um. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't see that. I didn't see Rakarm. Try it still. Come on! The elevator's here! Ooh. Buddy. Oh, thank God it rendered. <sighs> what? Oh no. Bad things are about to happen, aren't they? Wow, that's a gorgeous view. You can see the stars. <laughs> huh? Where's Naoto kun? <laughs> there you are. Jeez, no point being embarrassed now. Uh, wait, Rise san? Come on, <laughs> just get inside. Jeez. Oh, I see. So the truth. Oh, is holy shit! Mm -hmm. Not what I expected. That's a lot of pressure to keep those down. It's gotten into you all. <laughs> holy shit! No, <laughs> wait. This part is for boys. Shield your eyes, chat. Huh? Oh, okay. Wow, now tell your skin looks so soft. Can I touch? Can I touch? Huh? Um. Wow, it really is smooth. You're so Not lucky. because it's just there. Your <laughs> skin and silky hair. No unneeded body fat either. Hey, where are you touching? Um, Nanako chan. Um, are you okay with staying over at someone else's place like this? Aren't you scared? No, it's lots of fun. I hope I'm always alone until Big Bro comes back. I'm sorry, oh. Nanako. Uh, I see. But I'm good at staying home alone. I always do what my dad tells me, like not opening the door for strangers. What a good girl. Wow, I bet he's so proud of you. Hey, Nanako-chan, do you want to swim around? Can I? I've been swimming here since I was young. Do you still do it? Huh? Um... Why are you hesitating? Come on, let's race to the other side! Whoever loses owes everyone a fruit milk! Fruit milk? I want lemon soda! Uh, what? 
Me too? Check out my dead man's float! Wow! You're good! Oh! What a giant spring! I'll show you all my oh, no. battle! Oh no. Ow! What the. Huh? You guys! Oh no. Why are you guys here? That's my line! This is the worst possible situation. As the leader, you have to. <laughs> Um, we were here, we, we came here, but what, when you think about it, does the courage even matter in a situation like this? You gave the order to retreat. retreat! It's an honest mistake. We're not going to forget this. There's a lot of those fucking buckets. Oh my God. We'll have to punish them later. <laughs> retreat. You got him good! Liam's pretty deadly, huh? I wonder if they caught a glimpse. Oh! It's actually the guy's turn to use the springs now. I got the times mixed up. <laughs> Are you serious? Aw, oh, crap! I think we went too far with them! Uh, what should we do? Oh, it'll be fine as long as we keep quiet about it. This'll just be between us girls. Girls. Do you race again, Nanako-chan? Sorry, wrong room. So we never get to use it. You change it to a yukata and return to the room. Obtained bath towel. Damn it. I checked again, and sure enough, the hot spring's supposed to be for men at that hour. They're so evil. Evil, I tell you. I don't know why, but my head's all bumpy. Did you take a lot of those buckets? <laughs> those are lumps from the pails whacking you in the head. You got lumps, man. <laughs> <laughs> the hey, face. Uh, guys, did you, uh, see anything? No. None whatsoever. Damn it. I lead a cursed life. Let's just go to bed. Hold it, senpai. Do you... hear something? Oh, shit. <sighs> what was that? <laughs> I heard it, too! D don't tell me. Is there one here? One here? You know. W one what? A, a weeping willow? Dude. What are you talking about? <laughs> this room. It's the one that announcer was staying in before she died. My mom was talking about it. Oh, God, you said it. I was trying to block it out, and you had to go and say it. So that's why there's talismans here. Yukiko, that witch tempted us here knowing full well. Damn it. First the hot spring, now this! We've been completely suckered! <sighs> oh crap! There's no way I'm sleeping through this! I've made up my mind! I'm going to Yuki-chan's room! Uh... I can't sleep soundly unless I'm watching everyone's sleeping faces as I drift off! I have questions... Sleeping faces? Are you gonna sneak That's in the no, room? That's a no, Teddy. You can't be That's illegal. Straight to jail. Hey, what should we do? Uh, we really shouldn't. Then we'll have to spend the night here. L no way! I can't! I won't! Alrighty! It'll be a surprise awakening for them! Turns out you're going to be sneaking into the girls' room. Can we just knock? Good morning, everyone. It's a surprise awakening. No, a surprise break-in. This is Teddy reporting in. 
When did you put that on? I feel awkward without it, so I always bring it. Oh no, Teddy. Stop. Stop. Like oh, check it out. A hairbrush. And it's got long strands of hair on it. You're really into this, aren't you? Can y'all stop talking? Damn straight. It's time I got revenge for the camp out. Hey, good point. Can All I right, can I go to the other room? Do I have to be here? A, a toothbrush. Holy crap, my heart's pounding. But what about Nanako-chan? Don't worry. Nanako-chan is a magnanimous girl. Well, that's true. But try not to wake her up. She's not part of our revenge scheme. Oh, I finally reached the futons. They're fast asleep. It's not. It's not them. Excuse me. Yuki-chan, I'm scared of the ghosts. All right. I can do this too. It's time to prove I'm a man. Chia senpai Huh? Hmm? What's going on? I fucking knew it. Ugh. Sheesh. Oh, my. So that's all you guys are. Ah, uh, you should have said so. Rip. Mmm, such naughty boys. <laughs> I don't know how to feel. Holy crap! D don't touch me! We were crying our poor eyes out until now, you know. We thought there were no men who appreciated our beauty. All right, boys. I'm all yours. And not a word about this to anyone. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> Come here, tiger. That's what they get. You've seen things no student should see. You decide to give up and go back to your room to sleep. Good. Oh, this feels great. I love, love, love being able to take a bath anytime I want. How's what? Fast asleep. Hey, did you know Miss Kashiwagi and Hanako-san were staying in the room next to ours? <laughs> Those two seem to get along really well. I'm surprised. They come and stay here now and again. Usually they come to cry when something breaks their hearts. Huh. I guess they were really devastated from losing to Naoto-kun. Please don't bring that up again. Well, they do make a good team. The Nayati Magi Inn passes by. I wish I had more stuff to say during cutscenes, but I feel like in these types of games, there's just, there's so many cutscenes, you know? Hmm. Oh well. Let's keep going! Keep on keeping on. That actually might have been a good time to call it. Who knows? He came back from the Imagi Inn. You have the day off today because the culture, fest the culture festival was on Saturday. Without any clues, you can... All you can do now is wait for the incident to progress. What? Words. Words are a thing. From Yosuke. Thank goodness. I knew I could count on you to pick up. You're free today, right? Can you give me a hand here? I'm begging you. Yosuke sounds very flustered. The Halloween fair starts at Juness today. We're nowhere near ready. We have the decorations, but I can't find the floor manager, and I have no idea who to ask for help. You're the only one I could think of. Please, I'm begging you. My days are precious. Yes, I owe you one, partner. Can you just max rank already so I don't have to do this shit again? Just get hung up. You should head over to Juness. I hate Yosuke with a passion. Ugh. Juness Food Court. You and Yosuke are working hard on putting up the decorations. 
Oh, it is Halloween. Shit. Oh, I look dapper as fuck. Oh, my back hurts, but I'm finally done. Ooh, perfect timing. We really are a well-oiled machine, huh? But man, that costume's a good fit for you. I know. I'm I'm very so surprised too. It looks like your everyday outfit. You should wear one too. Of course. I'll put mine on once things get underway. I wouldn't ask you to do it if I wasn't gonna do it too. No, but you would sign people up for a beauty pageant. Anyway, you were a lifesaver. Thanks. But clearly you can't be trusted, Yosuke. Then again, as long as he's here. It, it looks like he's having fun. Guess he's like our store mascot now. I thought that's what you hired him for. Huh? Hey, uh, Yosuke-kun, uh, what's going on here? Oh, there you are. These are the decorations for the Halloween fair. Huh? <laughs> Come on, Yosuke Kun. That got canceled a while ago. What? Hmm? I uh, thought you were there for the morning meeting when they announced it. <laughs> oh, well, maybe you were still groggy since it was so early. Well, I'll be counting on you to clean this up. You motherfucker. You're the worst type of person. <laughs> this, this is amazing, though. Did you two uh, do all this yourselves? If you're gonna work this hard, maybe we should have gone through with it. This is a piece of shit asshole. He's like, oh yeah, they did it anyway, and she's gonna take like all the credit. Making it worse. Yosuke apologized and gave you a thank you gift before you went home. It was the it was the Halloween costumes that weren't used. Dude, the costumes were so good. Your boy looked very dapper. It's cold today. Super windy, now it feels for like. our next story. Mr. Kozai of the Environmental Concern Society visited a local elementary school to investigate the effects of the fog. Thick fog has appeared frequently in Inaba over the past few years, and the cause of it has yet to be determined. There's been much conjecture on the origin of this fog, and some are concerned about its effects on the human body. Town officials believe it highly unlikely that the fog could be harmful. One official suggested that the concern is largely tied to public anxiety in response to the recent murders. On hearing about the phenomenon, Mr. Kozai visited the local elementary school to investigate its effects. Uh -huh. He interviewed the children playing happily in the fog about their health and any anxieties they were facing. Oh, that man came to my school. No. Upon completing the investigation, Mr. Kozai issued a statement. In this day and age, one must stay aware of even slight changes in the environment and react politically. Today, I talked with a young student who spoke her own It better mind fucking from not from be. The influence of those around her. It was an attitude and an example that we as adults can learn from. Our primary concern should always be to protect these children's futures. On that note, Mr. Kozai ended his statement. The assembled parents applauded, but some raised okay. concerns that it was a show to attract voters in the next election. The news continues. <gasps> Monaco. My head hurts. <sighs> Monaco's face looks red. There's a high fever. You need to put her to bed. You gave Nanako some medicine and had her lie down. Hey, big bro. Are you going back home in spring? It's going to be winter soon. If it snows, can we make a snowman? We of can course. play a lot. Let's play all the time until spring. Monica seems to have fallen asleep. You should take her to bed later. I, I thought for a second Nanako was going to be on TV, and I was not ready. So the culture festival is over. Old Man Winter is on his way. 
now we're entering the season for winter sports. Figure skating really is popular, isn't it? Alright, this may be gym class, but I'm going to give you an English lesson. Lesson. Think of it as mental strength training. Tell me, what is the what fig, the figure in figure skating refers to? Nope, the figure is the sh fuck. It is the shapes. Uh, originally, figure skating skaters had to draw specific shapes into the ice and were judged on their accuracy. Personally, when I hear the word figure, I think of action figures. Those skaters look beautiful, look like beautiful dolls anyway. I don't need to get these right. My knowledge is impeccable. Let's look at this cup from Mario Party. Yeah! Welcome, Demon Werewolf. How are you? Hope you are doing well. Uh, we need to go talk to Naoto. See if we can start her um, social link. There she is. What up? Oh, your boy son. Um, thank you for saving me. I apologize, but I have something to think about. I do have the card. What's this? He said I'd understand. What's that supposed to mean? Excuse me, but could you please accompany me for a brief period? I'd like to hear more about what transpired when you were given this card. Please, it won't take long. Now, that's a whole bunch of fucking questions. It is quite... Quite silly. Samagawa floodplain. I apologize, but I wanted to, I wanted to talk someplace quiet. What sort of person gave this to you? A man with black sunglasses. Glasses. Uh, a man who knew I knew you, actually. I see. Which means it's possible that he's been snooping around gathering information on you or me or even the case. That man must also know you well. He wouldn't have entrusted the delivery to anyone he didn't know. But this is a small town. He could easily have looked up my address. Why well, go through the trouble of giving the letter to you? Intriguing. Is he involved with th this case? Or another case altogether? If it's me he's after, he could be anyone. I'll keep the card. The man is most likely still here in Inaba. I cannot drag you further into this. Can't back out now. Huh? huh? Er, well, it's good to know you're worried about me, but... I apologize. I seem to have a tin ear for other people's feelings. Yosuke-san told me before. I'll look into this card and report my findings to you, so don't worry about me. As our leader, I know that you have a lot on your shoulders, so... Naoto seems to be worried about you. You have a completely different impression of Naoto when, than when you first met. You feel a faint bond forming between you and Naoto. Yes. The Fortune Arcana, okay. Where the fuck is the Hanged Man? Oh man. That's, that's the one we're missing then. While we're here, why don't we chat a little? Ah uh, yes, there was something I wanted to ask you. Shall we go you, home you, now? You talked about several aspects of the murders and went home. Hey, we unlocked Naoto though. Nice. That's Tuesday evening. I think we can tutor. Welcome back. We're just full of food. We work as a tutor today. Okay, let me save. That was a lot. That was a lot of stuff to do, for sure. Go outside. Oh! I, I should have talked to that kid in the afternoon. Damn it. Every time. No. It's okay. We'll get it next time. Adachi's there. Uh, I do have tower. Yes. We need to get our... Diligence? You tutored Shu. Like this? This forms a circle here with the radius equal to the base of the triangle, and the height is... Uh, you began to explain the problem to him in an easily understood manner. Your expression has increased. Um... What do you think of your school? It's fun. Mm. I thought so. She looks disappointed. Moving on to other matters. There's a transfer student in my class. He looks down on everything here and says we're all a bunch of hicks living in the boonies. Everyone ignores him. Well, I'm a transfer student too. Huh? 
Oh, is, is that so? I didn't know. You seem surprised. That's why. Who thinks? School is a pain. All my classmates are stupid, and the lessons they try to teach are absolutely pointless. Your lessons are a lot easier to understand. Well, what can I say? It seems that Shu is slowly opening up to you. You feel that your relationship with Shu has deepened. Rank three, bully? Nice. Oh, time's up. This is actually a good spot to finish, so actually, so let's just end it for today. Take care now. You finished your tutoring job and went home. You earn money. So much money. Your boy got money for tutoring. Senpai. Good morning. I had so much fun last week. There was a culture festival and then we had a sleepover with everyone. I was really happy. I thought I'd never be able to experience things like that anymore. Oh, did you see the weather report? Looks like the weather's going to start getting rough this weekend. You need to keep a close eye on the Midnight Channel. It hasn't rained lately, so we haven't been able to see it. We might be in for a surprise the next time it's on. <laughs> Let's be careful. Yeah. The town seems to think that the case is closed, but the real killer hasn't been caught yet. Hasn't been caught yet. We haven't we haven't beaten the game yet. Oh shit. Who wants to hang out? out Good day. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm not quite used to meeting you here. Do you have any plans after school? Will you spend the day with Naoto? Uh, I will spend I need to I need to find that. Oh. Oh, you must already have plans. Next time then, if you will. What do you do after school? And I, oh, fancy meeting you here. Hey, you, if you're free today, you want to hang out? Let's see, that's too bad. We'll see you later then. What do you do after school? Oh my god. How many people? Senpai! Jesus Christ. Three people. Okay. Um, we need to go into town. We let's go to the floodplain. That's where that kid was last time. This is all we needed to do. I showed it to them, but they said the grown-up sticker didn't count. Here, you can have it back. How am I supposed to find a rare skin? I don't know any. Maybe I should ask some kids for ideas. Ugh. Where am I gonna find kids at this hour? Into town. I guess I, I could have checked in the riverbank, but that's fine. Um, where am I gonna find kids at this hour? Like kid kids, right? We have to prepare to move, so my mother told me to return home quickly today. I'm looking forward to a new place, but it's going to be kind of lonely. That's why I don't really want to go home right now. How, are you, how is it? Did she get it? What? Gave her a hint? No, that's not okay. But if she asked for a hint, that basically means she didn't get my message telepathy. Telepathically, huh? Well, thanks for helping. Here's just a token of my appreciation. Oh, did I do something wrong? Maybe I'll try it again next time. Well, where are all the kids, dude? Where? Big sis gets angry when I go outside. She's real serious about it. If you're finished with your errands, okay. Fog is pretty interesting, huh? It makes you makes it so you can't see anything. You can't see anything, anything at all. It's kind of nice. Okay. But what if? What if I talk to these kids? Pick already, Shota. Who do you like, me or Lord Chen? Yeah, who are you gonna sit with on the field trip? I want to stay with my friends. Why? You ate the liver in the school lunch with for me. I hate liver. Uh, I want to go home. There's everything about bugs. Why are y'all hanging out at the shrine, you fucking kids? Maybe they're actually in the riverbank? Or maybe I have to come back for it. That was spooky. Game? 
Once again, my mom got mad at me. The fog is dangerous. Don't go out so much. We're going to be moving soon, so you better get prepared. Oh, have you found a fire bridge? Hmm. When lovers dance, they exchange it. A mature feeling? Ow. That's in Risei's engine. Now we're gonna go back to the school. Um, and then uh, after that, I think we're gonna hang out with. So it was I, right? We rank seven, uh, and then it would be rank two or rank eight. We don't ever really get to hang out with I. Oh. What do you want? Yeah, let's spend time with I. That will probably be the last thing we do uh, today. Probably. Yes, got me high rooftop on the tower on the top of the water tower. How did we get up here? You he followed I up here. I'm sorry. I don't mean to keep making you hang out with me. I don't mind. Thank you, your boy. You really are a nice guy. I smiles gently. After I calmed down, I gave my life some serious thought. Why do I have to? Why do I go on such crazy shopping sprees? Why do I feel the need to be so well dressed all the time? What makes me want to ditch class? Do I want to stand out so that I'll catch people's eyes? And why do I find myself wanting to talk to you? I just thought that if I couldn't be pretty, I'd be better off dead. Nobody likes people who aren't pretty. They hate you. So what's the point of life if everyone hates you? But lately, I've been thinking, maybe I'm wrong. There's still a lot I don't know. I guess I shouldn't be jumping to any conclusions. And before I realized that I was crying, I've always made sure not to cry too, because it makes my eyes swell. I pulled back my curtains, and the sun was just coming up. The stars were shining so dimly. But for some reason, it made me think of you. I wonder why. Your friends. I have a lot of male acquaintances, but you're probably the first one I can call a real friend. I smiles halfway. You're a weird guy, you boy. I'm glad we met. You feel genuine trust coming from I. Your relationship with I has deepened. Not bad. Let's go home, huh? If they catch you with me, you'll probably get all the extra lectures, too. We ditched class, man. Here. Uh, you parted with I and went home. You're back. I am back. Ooh. So, um, we can, uh, we can max rank, um, Sayoko. That'll be the last thing we do. They look good. Great vegetables. Great vegetables. Thank you, Dojima. Nice. Hello. Welcome. Uh, let's get a daikon. Bro. I'm excited to see them come in. Okay, so now we're going to hang out with uh, Sayoko. I also really need to go to the bathroom. Yikes. I can hold it. Uh, I don't know who needs to hear this, by the way, but uh, fix your posture. Thanks. So, like, you know how I'm, I'm like this? You gotta, you know, straighten your back. Put your head above your spine. You thought you heard something from down the hall. You decided to pretend not to hear it and continue cleaning. Courage has increased. Nava Municipal Hospital. In empty hospital room. Sayako asks you to come here. I'm sorry. You're already done with work today, aren't you? I wanted to say goodbye. What? I'm leaving this hospital today. 
Now who looks straight into your eyes. I grew to hate hospitals. All the life and death, in the end, everyone leaves, leaving me behind. I was lonely. Then I remembered. I remembered that I wanted to help. I became a nurse because I wanted to save people's lives. I couldn't see that it was as simple as that. No, I probably didn't want to see it. My Sayako smiles gently. Uh. And to think that the one who, who would show me is just some kid with a rag in his hand. <laughs> I tend to go for older rich men and I landed a child. So I'm going. I'm going to find that path I gave up on. I thought I could, couldn't do it, but I will walk that road. I'm going to be my own guide, thinking, walking, taking responsibility for myself. Once I've done all that, I think I can finally say that I've truly lived. Will, Will you take this? Sure. Hospital ID. Now I can get in. I give you the person I was when I was here. Sayoko looks at you gently. You feel a strong bond between yourself and Sayoko. Nurse. Hell yeah. Who did we get? Feels the bug. You've done it. I'm going to say this. It's as much to myself as it is to you. What's right? What you should choose to do in life. The answers to those things lie within you. So long. Goodbye. Bye. Sayako left, never looking back. He decided to go home. You earned money. Okay, well then. That's that, huh? Today is culture day, so you have the day off from school. What should you do today? Uh, today's Thursday. We're gonna save. And that's going to be the stream, I think.